the king I just saw that. Oh my god, what do you guys try to do to us? We just got here, there's 430 people, chat's going crazy. It's all thanks to Club Doom. Let me throw you up here. Yo, what's we up? We got a special guest that. today. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. So, little, I just have a question about the song Drift King. Um, th that is like, man, that is honestly, I'm not even joking. It's one of the best songs I've ever heard. Uh, how, how long did it take you to make something like that? Um, the real answer a month, but that really only because I was contemplating wow. on what to make the song about. Yeah. yeah. I, I knew, I knew making the instrumental that like, I wanted this to be like a Funk's answer to Do Host by Rammstein. And I was just like, ah, what the hell do I do for lyrics? And then and then uh, I was on stream with y'all watching Cyrax get his shit pushed. And I was like, ooh, that's a topic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's that's when that idea was born, when we were watching the beatdown that night? Yeah, with, with Who is the King? I was like, what a night oh, that was. Good stand what in for Do Host. Let's go. Wow. I can see the ins I can see the inspiration there 100 percent and I, I kind of agree with Kiwi said there 100 percent doom it's it's very rare that I find songs like like every one of your songs you've played you're you're building up a Beatles-esque library where there's not one miss here the curse yeah. I think is the, the curse is it, it's it, it it transcends music for me like I I get the fuck down to that song uh, oh that, so, that, yeah. that song bro you have no idea I I found that beat. 
I like that beat was in an old computer that I thought was long dead and I would never like I thought I lost the beat to that forever. And then like it just showed up in like an old as I was going through old flash drive. I was like, no, I no fucking way I have that beat. That's a lit that's a lit way yeah. to find that. I was yeah. so hyped because I was like when that I, I remember I was I made that beat right around when Whole Lot of Red came out. So, all right, all right, man. So yeah, that's had, like a Cardi inspiration to it. There's, yeah, man. You got you got so many bangers out there, bro. It's just, if you guys haven't subbed to Club Doom yet, okay. We do got his channel uh, pinned in the comment. Yep, it is pinned. Bang. Everybody, go give him a sub. And that's actually the perfect segue. Amazing Smash Bandicoot video. Like, oh. I had no idea he was even Egyptian before. They just like. To, to get that much of a, I don't know. It was kind of like stepping into a cold pool. I didn't know what to expect, and it was shocking. But at the same time, like, he is, uh, man, he's funny, dude. Oh, he is. I like, <laughs> we got cries of laughter whenever we play the DK rap. <laughs> dude, this DK rap. You were telling DK me about rap that. is legendary. Oh, my God. And that, dude, I... Scaly Schism showed me Smash mm. Bandicoot. That video would not exist without Scaly Schism. Scaly so, yeah, is a go. Scaly too, man. Yeah, Scaly's always been a real motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, there's a lot of things we could talk about here with the music and all that stuff, but I see the people in chat wiling out, and we got good old, we got good old Doom back on to talk about a very oh. certain special song. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh, and the 300, whoa. and the 300. <laughs> Relax, Kiwi, you okay? Yeah, Doom, Doom brings out the numbers, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Let's go. I've never seen this, like, so early into the show. Yo, oh, oh, I haven't been looking at the chat. I just look now. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> well, just so you know, that will be split three ways between us. <laughs> That's, don't you what worry. What about payment? Yeah. What, yeah. what about payment? There's four of us on screen now. Three of us. What is going on, <laughs> dude? <laughs> guys, guys, we can't. One of these four people <sighs> will not get a lick of any of this. Take a wild <laughs> guess who it is. Matter of fact, Kiwi, load up a poll. Who, <laughs> <laughs> who do yeah. you guys think of? What you say? There's Kiwi. There's myself. There's Doom. And then there's that fucking pedophile on the other side of the screen. So. You guys decide in chat who is going to walk home empty-handed from this. Who's walking home from Kroger with no paycheck tonight? <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I'm just, like, dumbstruck. I promise we'll get you guys here in a minute, but, you know, you make a great point. Um, One of us is not like the others. One of us needs a new roll of tape. Um, One of us needs uh, some new cardboard. Maybe a new marker. <laughs> Dude, Did have you, you seen it yeah. yet? Have you seen his sign? His so I thought y'all was talking about Tamers for a quick second. Cause I <laughs> No, we're talking about little Bowsy. Yeah, we're talking uh, about good okay, old Earl Doody. What, sounded what like is it that they used to say down. when little Bowsy touched down, we all go to town or something like that? Well, something you know that. fucking yeah. shitty like that. When when the trolls <laughs> come out again, little Bowsy puts a sign up front of his house telling them to fuck off because he's yeah. had enough. He's had enough. Now, I don't know who went. Someone went to Bowser's house. Here, I'll just someone, show people. Someone got these pictures that we're about to see now. Like, Let me see what? if I can like open it in a new tab and they'll be bigger. Yeah, here. Yeah, Right can, here. Can, we, can you read it? Because I can't. I, I can't see it. It was just it. taped to the to the siding. Oh uh, yeah. Let me read it here. Sorry, my dog's kind of going crazy. This house has been targeted by cyberbullying and internet criminals. Please leave me alone. I have a disabled mother to take care of. I'm leaving the internet, Earl Doobie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving and then, the internet. That's I'm not. Leaving. Don't worry, mailman. I'm leaving the internet. He's probably just like, all right, it's fucking. But that's not the only one, though. There's also one here on the door that says the exact same thing. First off, his handwriting is dog shit. His handwriting sucks. Yeah, but it's his, great. His words are too close together. Why are they so close? It looks that looks like a fucking what's in a zodiac letter. 
Here's where you're trying to like put all the all the letters in together. It's like a crossword puzzle. Or no, no, it's a, what is it called? It's a word and finder, it's a search, whatever the fuck. But that oh, was yeah, you gotta you gotta find the words inside a big mix. Yes, yes, yes. Yo. But this one, I think I can read this one kind of. Wait, does this It's have the same a... thing. Oh, it has the same thing? Yeah, just like less tape. Uh, the other one has like more tape. It's laminated. I heard one of the comments say like he laminated it. <laughs> laminated the piece yeah. of cardboard. <laughs> Laminated you, cardboard. That's a do you band. Have picture? Someone write that down. Do you, so, so here's the thing. He's using his mom as an excuse now. Again, he's like, he's like, look, my mom's disabled, so don't mess with me. Like, he's trying to use her as a shield because of the fucked up shit he's doing online. It's like, and beware I, of dog, but beware of disabled mother. Yeah, yeah, beware of my disabled mother. You come near me, I'm going to stick her in front of me. You don't want to scare her. If you scare her, she could get hurt and you could get in trouble. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't say, like, all lollies enter here through this door. <laughs> we're looking for fictional cartoon girls. If there what? is really a fictional cartoon 16-year-old <laughs> out there, then I will admit that I was wrong, but I bet you do What is it that Chris, it. Chris said? Uh, blacks need not apply. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Real women need not apply. <laughs> and not you trans either. We're talking about cartoons. <laughs> it's just cartoons, though. <laughs> it's just cartoons. Oh, man. Never mind, he got co Never mind the people associated with uh, those kind of cartoons and communities, i.e. Uh, that Discord server. Never mind yeah. that. It's fictional, guys. Yeah, he right. You know, I saw a lot of people asking. They were like, "Why is Bowser back in like the? Uh, why is Bowser back in the news again?" And that's because Bowser. You know, he went, he went on this like long-winded rant over on uh, over on mm -hmm. Marty's panel, talking about how it's now okay to like. You know, he was trying to justify making art like between old men and a baby, and like it was just one of those things where no normal thinking person would ever think to even. Just, just when would that thought of that event happening come up in any normal person's head? Never. But to Bowser, it's just something that slips in his mind. Let me use that as a point and shit like that. It proves yeah. this guy, he hasn't learned. He's still talking about all this weird anime kid bullshit, trying to act like it's no big deal because it's just cartoons. And it's clearly just a way that he can like what he likes without it being technically illegal. Cause he can like his cartoons, but you know, it's the same thing as liking a little kid in real life. And he doesn't, I don't no, know. He's, man. he's unapologetic about it now. It's like he, man, he fucking, that's his whole defense, right? It's cartoons. They're just cartoons. So it doesn't matter. It's like, but it's, it's the principle behind those cartoons. It's like, man, what, and it's just like the total, the, I don't know. The whole situation frustrates me. I hope he stays yeah, off the fucking gonna hear internet. It, you're going to hear it on, um, on this video we're about to watch, but it's like, Bowser, yeah. if you were online, like if you were saying all this stuff, like, oh, you like anime grown adult women, then people would be like, you know, it's kind of weird, but you know, there's nothing like they're at least grown adult women. You always specify that they're underage. Why do you need to always specify that they're underage? And why is it always that? You know, yeah, it's never any different. And why do you look like you're about to uh, try and sell my toys to a Japanese toy museum? <laughs> he looks, Bastard. he looks, he looks like he's getting old quick. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he's aging rapidly. He has aged so much in the past like half a year. He's glowing up. Our little boy is glowing <laughs> up. Glowing <Blown> up. <laughs> he doesn't like it. That's not how he likes it. Uh. -uh. <laughs> I can't get over when he said, I choose, I choose anime. I choose anime. <laughs> like, like, listen, Earl, if you're watching this, I doubt you is. I doubt you is. But like, is. We, we've all watched Dragon Ball Z. We've all named our skull mage in Disgaea on PS2, like Fred Durst Jr. Leveled him up to level 9,000. Well, I don't know if we've all done that, but that's yeah. hilarious. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Every <laughs> member of Wimp Biscuit got have. a character. We have Every all named our skull mages on Disgaea, Fred Durst Jr., and leveled him up to level 9,000. And But, like, it's... But, like, it's... 
Earl, you don't have to dedicate your entire being to this weird, like, poor, low-budget, like, cringy creeper shit. He has nothing else, Doom. Only Hikikomori's in Japan. Like, yeah. it's, it's not that deep. Doom, it's Doom hit the Doom hit the He's nail got right on the head. Else. Doom hit the nail right on the head. Bowser's not watching this show right now. He's in his room, just like just just loving his anime girls, listening to the Chocolate Starfish album, and he's just he's he's having a grand old time. He doesn't got time for uh, for too high for stupid anymore. And you know what? That's fine because we don't want the pedophile on the show no more. He's said enough here, and this video proves that even if no one platforms him, he'll still say enough dumb shit. For people just to laugh, and that's all that matters at the end of the day is that we're laughing mm-hmm. at this pedo. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Pulled the whole knight from afar thing again. Changed his he name. Did. Yeah, what's yeah. his new name, Kiwi? Oh, I don't want to say it. Well, I mean, you know. I, I, it was wish, an I, I feel like this is. And now, tell me if I'm wrong here. Maybe I shouldn't even say this because it might be. Like, you know, wouldn't it be like I just think it'd be funny, right? Like, because I don't know how how many people we got in chat right now. Uh, seven hundred nine. Yeah, like it's just, you know. White Dowser has like 1,600 subs, his current channel. Like, I don't know if anyone subbed to him, but like, wouldn't it be just hilarious if by the end of the stream he was under 1,000? Oh, man. That'd be beautiful. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know if that's possible because I feel like everyone knew like not to, but, you know, if you were, man, that would just be funny. I feel like the effectiveness of Froggy Donuts archiving, which has just been like one of a kind, um, has, has deterred a lot of people, and that's the Lord's work. No doubt, no doubt. Um, Froggy's he's got all that shit there. Like, there's there's no Bowser tried to scrub his entire internet history mm-hmm. as Floyd Bowser from his channel. He deleted this like, is this video right here is on Froggy's channel because all the diary of the White Bowsers, all that gone. Yep, gone. Earl deleted all of them, but guess where they're still gonna be over <laughs> on Black Bowser. Over on Black Bowser every day of the week. Froggy Donut <laughs> hooking us up. Yeah, I gotta love the man. He's super nice guy too. Super nice guy. Another um, former uh, special guest we've had here on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah we might have to have him back. Yeah, Doom's the first ever two time. Mm-hmm. I think Doom was our first ever, um, like actual legitimate guest. Guest, you know, <laughs> Doom, <laughs> Doom, <laughs> Black <laughs> Bowser. Yeah, Doom joins the illustrious group of Club Doom, yeah. Black Bowser, Cyrax video game. And bite bite size. Yep, bite size. That was crazy. I didn't expect that to happen. That just that like cool. I asked a dude, and within the day, bite size. I was in like a, a Discord call. Bite size. It was so surreal. I still um, got his that song stuck in my head. The fuck bite size cobra vids. Yeah, yeah. That song went pretty hard. It ain't. Yeah. Bro, I, need, I need to look more into Cobra. I've looked into Cobra here and there, but I, need I to feel do, you on that. Yeah, there's w- so much more Cobra I need to consume. Pause. It, it's a, <laughs> it's a dead. Uh, like the the Josh of these days is no longer entertaining. I completely agree with Bite Size on that. Like I tried to watch one of his streams. He won't even get horribly drunk on stream anymore. He'll just wait for people to pay him. And then he'll get drunk off stream. It's dang. Yeah, it's like Blade. It's like Blade and Smokey. You know how he'll fucking basically have chat pay to put him to sleep with Jaeger shots. He's a bitch. Um, He's a yeah. bitch. He always he. I've <laughs> I've been watching Blade streams like the past few weeks, bro. And like every night, he's he's always doing the same thing. It's just like, hey, let's do some shots, and he'll do a shot, and then he'll stop doing shots, and I'm just like, yeah, like. You fat bastard. People are paying you to drink. Like, you drink, bro. Like, what are you doing? And uh, he ain't doing it. Oof. Getting so... It's like a five-hour stream, and he's like getting fucked up for the last half hour. It's like, you had that bottle here all night. You could have been blacked out in the first hour and had Donos calling you funny names for three. Then he would have found his cat, and that wouldn't make for a good script, okay? <laughs> well, so. I don't, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Blade moved to Kansas City from Seattle, so he should get that friggin' Mariners hat off now. No, no reason to wear that old dusky thing. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, Blade, Blade's another topic. There's so many good mm-hmm. locales out there. Like, 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 even if Cobra gets stale, there's always a new one. And thankfully, yeah. thankfully, and maybe actually, un, unfortunately, you know, there's always a certain Koopa that we can we can point to and go, <laughs> look at this, look at this silly bastard. This big goober. 
this yeah. fucking predator, this fucking weird bass. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we gotta, this, we gotta watch this it. goober, this goofy goober, this just gooby. You know, <laughs> just gooby. Uh, de- definitely not another uh creeper that you should totally search on youtube uh you know totally different <laughs> just gooby i've heard that name before yeah uh yeah he's a fuck i got i got a game though here for the chat now see last week we drank on the stream so i wasn't going to propose this for the stream today um but for y'all in the chat you know i might join you i might join you but i got a game i got a game for everyone out there we're gonna listen to this next bowser video if you guys got alcohol on hand Here's the deal. Every time this man says the quote, Earl.exe, you got to take a drink. And you're going to kill so, him, Smokey. And you're going to kill these people. If you're sober by the end of this video, if you're sober by the end of this video, you know, uh, then we'll see you then. Man. I don't, I'm trying to interact with you guys' conversation, but all I can think of is Toy Story 2 jokes. Toy Story 2 jokes? <laughs> Why? Well, he, yeah, like, he said he looks like Big Al. Yeah, he looks like ow. <laughs> that's all like that's all I can think about, especially with this mustache. All right, I can imagine right. him get, getting up, getting up late, driving to Quoga. I gotta get to work <laughs> on the way to work. Oh no! Oh god! Well, my well, my iconic and very valuable my little pony figurines <laughs> have they won away from my, the jaws? I, from I don't the know. Jars. He looks. Yeah, he's got. <laughs> From he's got, jars. He's yeah. got the Buzz and Woody in his like, collection looking at them, but they're just two anime girls. Oh, dude. He, he's, he's, he's a weird boy. Like I said, we got we to watch this video because he, he's doing that. And he's trying. You know, he's trying. His, his brain's not smart enough to allow him to do what he wants to do, but he's trying to, to like play mental gymnastics here. But with someone of Bowser's brain capacity, it doesn't work. You know, it's just he's trying his hardest to try to manipulate people into thinking that him being a pedo is not the case. And you'll see it in this video. You know, he just he'll go from one topic to another, to another, to another, to another. He's I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, but he's just I think he's hungry for there. some chicken, Smokey. I think that's oh, what he needs it is. to get. I think he's <laughs> he needs to get back to old Betty Ford. Yeah. Or Henry Ford. It's one of the two. It's Henry. Of the two. Henry Ford. Yeah. <laughs> Betty Ford for the famous people. Henry you know, Ford you know about bathroom. that, right, dude? You know about that meme? No, uh, what, what's this? Oh, dude. So, uh, so... Yeah, I, can, I can explain this one. This okay. was one time early on on the show, Bowser, well, when Bowser had gave his bomb threat to the um to the movie theater. You remember that? Yeah. He got thrown in a, a psych ward, like a mental institution called the uh, Henry Ford uh, Mental Facility or whatever. And someone donated one time and said, hey, Bowser, how is the chicken at the Henry Ford Medical Facility? And Bowser was like, oh, we, we, we can't talk about that. We can't talk about that. Me and Kiwi were just like, why, bro? Like, I heard they have some pretty lit chicken there. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> got some pretty good chicken. Yeah, I think like, it, where, where it stemmed from was like before that, people were like, hey, Bowser, what was the mental hospital like? And he's like, well, they had good chicken. Yeah, and uh that. <laughs> yeah that, and then that's where the people are like oh we love that henry ford chicken yeah they got they got some good boiled chicken up in that bitch i've heard a lot about it you know yeah boldless it was i we saw it on an episode of dives and diners drive-ins and dives but you know it's uh <laughs> but bowser yeah let's let's watch his bowser video we got <laughs> now we, now i'm just imagining a more jewish guy fiere here on stream <laughs> Oh, dude, it's so quiet. Manually. It's so quiet. Uh, brain power. Is there any way to turn uh, it off? I heard the whole... Oh, Termia, I don't know. Yeah, Termia, it's a da- Now I'm just imagining Earl's face, like Earl's head in place of the dude from the D.A.R.E. video um, off of Gorillaz. <laughs> yeah. Termia is Dell. Never did no harm. <laughs> It's just cartoon. She's just a cartoon girl dancing, guys. This is this is a shame because Bowser recorded this video and it is so quiet. So we're gonna. Well, I'm I'm reading it. You know, we can just talk while he's and kind of read. Maybe. I think we should let the people try to listen to it. We just gotta make sure. Like, we can't even talk over him a bit, or else it's gonna get lost. Yeah, for real. All right, let's shut the fuck up. Local community wants to treat fictional cartoons of children 
as factual real entities that should be So So how how can uh, how can we grant something that doesn't exist a humanitarian right? Do we grant it do, do we grant it This is one of the greatest thinkers right of our generation. The thing that doesn't exist is depicted as a child. It still doesn't exist. It's still not this earth it is still not reality. A a cardboard cut out cartoon that you watch on your screen uh, it, it is fiction. I, I, I don't I don't walk into the real world touching grass and see cartoons walking around me. Dimensional merge. I'm not schizophrenic. The merge, the question, merge, like, merge, merge. Why, why would the low calorie community the low calorie community I still can't get over a wheel that fucking killed me. <laughs> Do they think they're oh you're right you're right be protected and should have humanitarian rights because of what they're depicting. My perception of anime is that it's anime. It's a cartoon. The low college community perception of anime is that it has children in it. I, I guess that's, that's the point. That's that, so weak. That's we'll yeah. pause this. Yeah, Head that's phone warning. The the uh, ones the ones that you watch, Bowser, all have children in it. You mm -hmm. know, no one no one would be shaking their fist at you watching fucking Naruto. But here you are, yeah. you know. Here well, you I don't are. know. Naruto's all. That's got kids in it too, don't it? Like, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just naming all the things that used to be on you know, Cartoon Naruto's an action show. Yu Yu Hakusho would be an action show. About, like I said, know. I'm just going to name all the old shows from Cartoon <laughs> Network. So, you know, no one would be shaking their fist at you watching Samurai Jack. You know, no one would be. So, like, but it's that's the difference, though. It's like the shows Bowser chooses to watch, like the one he re-uploaded is all about like 15 year olds teaching eight year olds about sex. Like, yeah, that's... they're all creepy anime. They're, yeah, none of them are like normal, regular anime. They always have like, none of them have an English name. So, you know, they're like, they're like out there. He had to go looking for them. You yeah, know? He, had to, he had to dig mm. for this creepy shit. Yeah. He had to learn a little <laughs> bit of Japanese. My anime shit. list and specifically look for the weird shit in order to find them. He's... Dude, I... He's there's weird. there's good anime out there like uh that new one that Zom 100 on fucking Netflix. I watched that. That was kind of cool. Like there's Bro, cool I, anime I, I out there. Read, uh Grappler Baki religiously. Oof. That's like my new obsession. That's a good one too, dude. But but the kind of anime and a lot of people are like there are a lot of people in the anime community who will defend Bowser's thinking that we're coming down on like all anime and that's not the case, dude. Uh I get shit for my love of Velma all the time. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's the kind of anime that he's into. And whenever we asked him to, like, list, and this is what blew me away is, like, when we were first interviewing him, I was like, tell me about these anime. And then he's, like, going into high school girls and, like, tits and shit. And he was just so ready. He was so ready to tell somebody. That's how much he loves this shit. Yeah, he's he's smart enough, I guess, to know like he maybe, you know, I, I wish we actually like had a first hand thing from someone who worked with him at Kroger's. Because yeah. I bet you he's like he knows not to walk around there and go, hey, you seen this? Uh, I got this VHS, a this, a this anime made in 2003. <laughs> would you like to see this? Like, would you like to see this? <laughs> and it's like he, he knows in the real world it's not going to fly. So he comes on here and he says all this shit thinking like, oh, well, this is where he'll, he'll have his outlet. But no, the problem is the people don't agree with this shit. And uh, he just keeps spilling. He just keeps spilling all this shit. Uh, well, you got all those yes men out there who are like, yeah, Bowser, you know, it's fine. You're doing great. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of people out there who would not think that what Bowser's doing is weird, and mm -hmm. you know, to me, that that's just scary. makes them weirdos too. Yeah, that yeah, just that, makes them weirdos too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
What were you saying, Doom? Sorry, bro. I, I, I said that. All I said was that's the problem. That's yeah. the yeah. problem is there's people who agree with this. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. It's just... <laughs> that's the that's the fucking issue. You know, if if you wouldn't go around uh your fucking workplace being like. Oh hey, I just happened to have the whole entire manga set of Dwagon Half. <laughs> it's like you then you shouldn't do it on the fucking internet either. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great point. Yeah, I think uh with Bowser right now, he's like in his second evolution if he's a Pokemon. Like his uh his mustache has grown, his little pedo beard and mustache have grown. And I think his third evolution involves um Oh, how do I put this? Uh, rope. Uh, yeah, you know, I, yeah, I think, like, this is the second Pokemon evolution. We're gearing up for that third stage evolution, final saga. Yeah, no, I will, think, I think saga, he, this will be the moment he becomes Heisenberg. Yeah, I think we're only a few, we're only a few seasons away from Bowser becoming a skull worn by Ricky, like a Cubone. Um, oh yeah <laughs> you're right you're right dude <laughs> and but yeah, we're only in season four now that's like a season nine thing so we, we got a lot to, oh by the way everyone yeah welcome to season four of bowserverse yep. <laughs> season four is gearing up to be in the, i mean, noticed the funniest thing in this video i think he says it he's like season one of bowserverse ended with everyone calling me a pedophile and season two of bowserverse oh no so here's how it was i think it was like Season one ended with Smokey's Discord calling me a pedophile. Season two ended with Smokey, Kiwi, and Cow Angler calling me a pedophile. <laughs> Season three ended with Music <laughs> Biz Ma'i calling me a pedophile. And he genuinely says afterwards, I'm excited to see where season four goes. And I'm like, why? Every, every season so far has ended with you being a pedophile. Why do you expect season four to be any different? And it's, I don't know, but I guarantee you season four is going to end the same way. Quo but just thinks I'm a pedophile. We're going to end with the prime minister of Japan personally calling Earl <laughs> on the phone to call him a pedophile. <laughs> Why oh the Bowser? Pedophile! Pedophile! You. <laughs> you are banned. Never come back. Never come <laughs> to the land of the rising sun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is uh this this whole video. It sucks that we gotta be quiet while we're oh. playing it, but the people gotta have a good idea here of what this creep is saying. And that's a long video. I don't think we'll get through all of it, but I mean we still, play some still, more. Still, we'll yeah, skip ahead. Still, yeah, yeah. Um people no, so basically you missed like seven Earl.exes right there. So the people gotta take like seven <laughs> shots. It's great. Take seven shots of your strongest rum. This is think, cool. Uh, yeah. We we kind of get to kick off season four. Like we're the ones who get to do season four, episode one, boys. Woo. You know? Maybe that's what we should do. Like a, a completely separate show called uh, Bowserverse. We just cover Earl. Right, like people love that. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> Bowser verse could. Oh man, yeah. He, you know, he he'd love that though. Like he'd look at that yeah. as a badge of honor to be like, well, people are making shows about me now. They're so interested in what I do, mm-hmm. you know. And but I mean, that's that's honestly a good because like one of the weeks maybe we should. If, if he ever does something even more stupid, just change the name of the show for a week to Bowserverse episode twenty three. Dude, yeah. this whole sign thing is really getting up there in levels of being a lol cow. Oh, it is. Like, it is. It is. Show. He's taped it up so hard as to where people can't rip it off without him like spotting it. See how the blinds are kind of like fucking ripped up and the, there. Yeah, in that. but that's now he's just testing people. Now yeah. he's just, he's doing, he's pulling a Cyrex. He's just begging people to come and try to get that now. Because you know, people saw that and went, I'm getting that fucking sign. Mm-hmm. I'm getting that fucking sign. Oh, dude, that's a piece of history right there. Is it? Shit, <laughs> yeah, dude, I put that in a frame, man. Yeah. I, I mean, it would be funny if, like I said, I don't know. I, I was assuming they'd take it and then, like, you know, just, just, just ah, throw it on the side of the road. But no, I mean, maybe. This Not is one of the... G- when, when uh, on the possible, we were watching that one uh, video with the Cyrax's sign, the sign that they put up that nothing's for sale. And yeah. Everyone in chat was like, hmm, that would look nice framed above my fireplace. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's history. And when you have a sign 
or just words written down by someone who is like as as literarily talented as Earl Doob, you want some of his writings. It'd be like having the writings of Shakespeare. I mean, we'll sell that in 20 years. We'll be like this, this right here, this sign was put outside of the guy who made this quote right here, this inspiring quote. Like, this is going to pay off. This is an investment right here, in my opinion. An investment. It's a new high art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a massively sexually charged message to... A direct message to a kid that was underage. I want to, I want to see screenshots. I want to see screenshots of me direct messaging kids sexually charged messages. I have never done that because I'm above that. I, I don't do that. To, to you me. have uh, sent them porn, Earl. We have screenshots. So, once again, the low cow community has to like make the make the dis the distinction, the difference between liking and enjoying anime. No, we don't. And being and being attracted to sexualizing children. No, we don't. Anime lover? Pedophile. I don't understand. I'm just going to pause it again real quick. Headphone warning, everybody. Headphone warning. Um, I don't understand how he's going to, like, lump everybody into, like, the same boat. He's like, oh, anime lover up here? See, you know, anime lover? Like, everybody's into the same kind of fucking anime that he's into. Mm-hmm. It's so strange, like, deadass, he thinks that all people who watch anime watch the kind of anime he does and do the things to anime that he does. Like, I had never heard of anybody watching anything wet until he explained it to me. He's like, oh, those are the uh, cartoons that I watch wet. I'm like, fuck, bro. Watch Tawawa wet and even ain't even talking. You're just not cultured like White Bowser. Yeah, that's honestly. what it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, yes, I wet. Just, people, people in chat are like, wait, what? That's a thing? Wet? It's like, yes, he has admitted. Yeah, it's White Bowser. White Bowser's a professional wet. in this shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. We asked him. Um, I was still very new to like all the Bowser lore. I didn't know much, so I was just kind of like asking questions. And I'm like, what do you, you know, so something about Tawawa. And he's like, yeah, that's the show. I don't watch it dry very often. I watch it wet. And uh, now he's it, it blew that me back, away. He yeah, walked he walked that back that. and said yeah. he only ever watched it wet once. Yeah, yeah. Or he's <laughs> only like fapped it like twice in the past year. It's like, fuck, dude, you played Genshin Impact. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking I'm kidding so me? adamant that season four. It's got to be hard to play that game with one hand. I'm sorry to cut you off, dude. Yeah, <laughs> season four. We need we need a no fab influencer to take Earl under his wing. Dude, I'll it'll do it. Horribly wrong, but it'll be fucking hilarious. I'll do it. I'll be that that guiding hand for Earl. I'll teach him. But I'm afraid of the power he'll gain if he learns semen retention. Like <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> he'll go from raging and crying to raging and crying and throwing things across his room. Yeah, you know, you know Joe Stetics, the guy who recently died. No, uh, I didn't that. Oh, he was like, he was shredded. That's what Bowser will end up like if we teach him the secret uh, techniques. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever been on that side of Instagram? It is trippy. It is hilarious. No, I have. What do you? That sounds like content right there. For fifty dollars a month, I could teach you on how to not finish. I was like, "What? Oh, you mean what? have I have I enrolled in Hustlers University? Of course." <laughs> so, so let me get this straight: you charging fifty dollars a month to teach people how to flam their penis in the call door so they don't finish and become a one percent man? I whatever. <laughs> this is how you become a high value man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you should make a video on that, dude. See, I've been, like, wanting to expand to other platforms, like Reddit and shit, to find content, and that is, that's great. You should totally make a video on that, Doom. Oh, yeah. it, Instagram full of fuck shit. I, I yeah. know at some point I want to go over to the Instagram side. Twitter's of my go-to. Yeah, Twitter's, Twitter's your go-to? 
Twitter is a good place. To, that, that's where, like, Optimus and most of the big commentary channels go for their content. Oh, yeah. I, I personally, and I feel fucking, like, disgusting saying this, I've been going on TikTok. And, yeah, you uh, have to. You have it's, to. Because there's a, yeah. it's, a, it's like an oil well. Like, everyone's traveling to, to the California of TikTok to mine those golden locales. Dude, and I tell you, having Mrs. Kiwi, like, who's addicted to TikTok helps so much she'll come with people and she'll be like oh look at this guy you know he's doing this or look at this person and i'm like oh my god and i'll write him down and uh it's it's crazy man it's crazy because with tiktok like there's a lot more like people know daniel it's it's wild like they're normies who know all about the daniel shit just because like they're following it on tiktok like they don't know anything else about any other lol cows it's uh Shit, sorry. Yeah, it seems like it seems like Daniel is going to be the Chris Chan to a new generation. Yeah, seems like it. If he lives, if he lives <laughs> any longer, <laughs> he's only twenty three, so he's like. Oh my god! Chris made his oh like. Yeah, Chris made his in, in introduction like uh, what was it called? Like his twenty fifth birthday video when he was like well, obviously twenty five. Daniel still got two years until he makes his, and that means like another thirteen years of trolling after that. Oh my goodness. What is that club for celebrities, Scoop. like the 27 Scoop. Club? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, the 27 Club. That's when they die. Yeah, like yeah. Like Kurt I think Cobain, he's... Jim Morrison, uh, Amy Winehouse, I think Bob Mar or Jimi Hendrix. Billy Mays. Billy Mays? He was like yeah. four. Nah, dude, Billy Mays is immortal. I don't know about that. <laughs> he's dead as shit. <laughs> Uh, Daniel Larson's dropped some bangers like that one in Paris that I can't say, probably. Regards in Paris? Yeah. I love that, dude. Also, hard motherfuckers want to find me, but first, gonna find me. This ain't episode 10. Don't get too excited, chat. Um, yeah, you know, this, this whole Bowser thing, Doom, and it's interesting having you here, because, like, you really, uh, You've seen this from relatively around the beginning. Did you think that he would actually be, like, discussed as widely as he is? Like, he has a subreddit where people follow him. He has Kiwi Farms people talking about him. Like, it's so... It's gone so far from where it started. Um, sort of, kind of. Because the thing is, I've... I've met people like Bowser in college and shit, oh, and they. I'm so sorry. Yeah, and they they ain't the most quiet types of people, but most of them keep off the internet relatively. But mm -hmm. Bowser here, he's a special case in that he is terminally online and trying to make a name for himself. So mm -hmm. those two, those two characteristics, they they ain't exactly the best uh, wicked drink combo. Mm -hmm. In uh, Josh's words, <laughs> a keyword keyword there being special. I think that's a big part of it too. Is that he just can't help himself from constantly uh, divulging more info about himself that people probably would have never known had he just not went off the cuff and said it. Like the girl he gropes name, no one knew that until he said it yeah. like, on a YouTube video. You know, uh, you're right. You're right. Nobody, the the king of doxing, literally the king of self doxing, right here. I don't even think yeah. Chris gave up the information as easily. Not yeah, and no, Bowser, fuck. Bowser just he said it whenever he wanted. He thought that giving out the full info would make like would absolve him from this shit, but it only made it worse. Now remember too, I bet you people had known where he lived prior, but no one was mm -hmm. like digging where this guy lived until he put up the fucking the business card of the police detective from his town. Which revealed yeah. the fucking police town, like the police uh, department, which is, you know, his town's police department. Yeah. So, you know, this he is lives in state assisted housing, I'm pretty sure, too. Bowser? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like state assisted. It's a very weird neighborhood how it's set up. It's not set up like your regular neighborhood. It feels like it's state housing. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking far too far into it. Well, you know. Le the logistics about Project Baby Bowser or whatnot. Um, I think it's just it's it's he thinks all this is a good idea. He thought this thirty-five minute video where he's just saying more and more dumb shit was a good idea. Uh, good idea, Jesus, good idea. And um, 
project. And he'll, this is why he'll never stop. He'll because he'll constantly make videos like this to the end of time, trying to defend himself on shit, and it'll only make it worse. Isn't it crazy that Kodak Black can speak better than him? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you talk about Project Baby, like even Kodak Black, who's slowly losing his ability to speak due to lean usage, is um more articulate than Bowser. It's but not he, hard. He's just trying to grow in <laughs> peace. They don't even notice me. <laughs> he <laughs> wants to grope in peace. Just growing, I'm just quiet. I'm quoping peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! All these twi- all these cyber bullies twolling me. Like fuck, dude. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine if he was like, he's like, guys. He's like, my therapist told me that this is all right, and my doctor told me to stop smoking broccoli, and I said, that's like groceries to me, doc. That's like groceries. Um, he- that is an interview I'd love with the therapist. Oh, so, yeah. oh my God. Oh. Can you imagine they broke, like, Tayshin Confidentiality to oh, come on here and be God. like, oh, Bowser? That guy's a fucking loon. That guy is <laughs> off his rocker. That dude's totally a pedophile. That dude's- <laughs> yeah, just, re- just rename that particular episode too high for HIPAA. oh my god i love that dude i've been running out of names i've been running out of names that's great being an anime lover there's a massive difference between a lover of anime and a pedophile if the local community cannot local community like discern the difference between that discern the difference then my brain isn't. Then my brain is not computing it. Like Earl.exe. <laughs> drink, drink. I've been watching anime. You really do be a horrifying online creepy pasta. Dude, he's literally separating from his own body. Like Earl.exe is fucking going, like AI rogue. I also like how he thinks that all this negative publicity be good publicity. Like, y- y'all realize Takashi Six Nine just dropped an album like last month and nobody noticed. Yeah. Yeah. Bowser dropped an AMV the other day, and I, I, you, I didn't see a review for it anywhere. Honestly, no. <laughs> I, just, I was disappointed. Just went over everyone's head. I thought Santana would have a video out on it. <laughs> Sexualizing real children. Fictional. This Bowser AMV. Yeah, he's doing the Sea Kyle again. He was doing the Sea Kyle again. <laughs> the the community has to Don't worry, guys. He'll be on No Jumper next week with with they, Lena. Take She'll take his virginity. Rational, his virginity. She's not a cartoon. He wouldn't like her. Knows the difference. Yeah, she's an adult she's woman. He's not fictional. Hold up, hold up. I think he's about to say that he doesn't compute again. When I watch anime, I uh-huh. see a 2D fictional cartoon. So I'm able to laugh at and enjoy it. It's just the way you enjoy it. Real world, You're not I laughing. Seriously. And, and, and I behave and act differently. That's rational logic, isn't it? Being able to discern the difference between something. Yeah, guys. I can tell you what I think happens. Where the fuck I think crazy. I think in the real world, in reality, he's too scared to talk to women, and he doesn't even like the women mm-hmm. that he would be like appropriate to talk to. So he gets off on these anime girls because it's just fictional. Hold up, he's not computing. I have been trying to like compute this into my head Do, does the low cow community think that does the low cow community think cartoon 16 year old girls with massive giant boobs exist in the real world no but we do believe that no, you oh, watch you missed, it wet go on go on about that go on sorry no i'm just saying you know it's a we we don't believe that they exist in the real world, but we believe the fact that you are even saying the sentence cartoon 16-year-old girls yeah. with massive giant boobs yeah, he's is trying not to make, good. He's trying to do that. Why, that why should that come into mind? 
he's trying to do that <laughs> shit he did to me on the one episode where he was like, Smokey, do you genuinely think that a 16 year old with double D chest is real? Do you actually think in the real world that that could be real, Smokey? Like he tried to, he was trying to like prove this point that he never makes. And here again, it's like a cartoon, you know, like it's this simple. Why couldn't you just say cartoon girl with big tits? That would have been it. Yeah. That would have been it. And no one would have cared. But you had to, you just fucking had to throw 16 year old in there. And you know what, Kiwi? He makes it so much creepier because I think he just constantly starts like screaming about big asses and big tits, like again, just like in the same video right now when you want to pause it. That's honestly like, how is he this dedicated to being a fucking pedophile? Because it means a lot. Like, this, this is his life. This shit, like the anime <laughs> little girls and shit. Like this, that's this all is, I have. Yes, it is. It is all he has, though. <laughs> He's one of those fucking like dudes who like wants to have like a a virtual reality girlfriend and shit like that. I I bet fucking money on that. Oh, he <laughs> does. He has one of those fucking AI girlfriends on his phone. Oh, oh good morning, Hawaii World Chan. I <laughs> I had a dream about you last night. We were eating chicken in the padded cell together. Like, <laughs> fuck, dude. That's I bet money. I bet money he has one of those. Oh my god! But, but yeah, he's I, in Japan. They call him Hikikomori or Neats, just people who don't leave the fucking house. I thought they, they called them otaku's, like just creepy. Uh, those are just weebs. people who are way too into anime. These are people that are like Earl levels of into anime well, and creepy shit. And I would if, if 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 I was from Japan, I'd tell Earl to hick k- 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 kill himself. But um, in, Minecraft. <laughs> in Minecraft, in Minecraft, <laughs> in Memecraft. Yes, yes. In I completely forgot. And you know, and I, I apologize for that, Kiwi. I, I, for a second there, I thought we were just on like a call with the three of us, and I really just forgot. <laughs> I looked down careful. and I was like, not. 900 fuck oh shit but, oh, i'm sorry about that yeah i would i would tell him uh i don't know i don't know dude i don't know what i'd tell him these days i'd tell him just to like maybe stick to staying off the internet like actually stay off don't just like rebrand yourself because we'll find you you'll be found if you create an alternate reddit account and you start going back on r slash big boobs like you you will be found so, really, if I could tell him anything, really get off the internet, dude. Don't come back. Yeah. Uh, keep talking to your therapist, and hopefully one of these days they'll tell you the truth, which is what you're doing, what you're into is fucked up, and you are not in the right. And there's a reason that people were disgusted with your actions and your words on the internet. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, exactly. and well, yeah, I guess I guess he's not totally in neat according to chat, but he still like ain't leave the house enough. I will say, he don't. He's very to pale. Leave the house enough. He's very pale. Um, I don't think he gets much sun. I really don't. I think, and you know, he's got like this this uh. He regularly get. He has like this uh muskrat coating over him where he's like water resistant. Uh, uh, so he's you, he's evolving. Uh oh, guys. What? Daniel's back. <laughs> what? Daniel's out of the mental institution or the psych ward. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Why they let him out? This Why they let him? Yeah. I don't know, but it's a lot. Like, like he's posting that like he's out and that like don't believe the Reddit because they're saying he's dead. But this could always just be like someone just trying to like say this on Daniel's account to try to get people off the idea that he's dead. So I don't know if we should believe it. I'm pretty sure he's just dead. I killed him. Oh, you killed in him? Mine, in Minecraft, I fucking threw him in some lava. I thought Bowser, like Bow, maybe, maybe Bowser had something to do with it. Let's see here. Because, you know, he's making... He's already making such excellent points, right? Okay. <laughs> do do cartoon do do cartoon with the, the, the most common community is gonna say yes, sixteen year olds do exist, exist in the real world. But hold on, stop right there. I said, do cartoon girls exist in the real world? Does a two D fictional cartoon exist in the real world? No, it does not. However, the low cow community will say yes, but the sixteen-year-old exists in the real world. He's truly a modern philosopher so, out here asking the big questions. So, so once again, we're going back to like perception here. Maybe. 
like Earl.exe is not possible. Drink. It, it, it really isn't. Shot, shot. It, my, my, my brain He's very manic here. Not processing the logic, the low count. Oh my god, Earl, it's not that hard. Connect the dots. You into creeper oh, shit. You associate this is, with creepers on Discord. I just don't I just don't get it. I don't get it. Why <laughs> wait, are people so mad? Wait, wait, look at the subtitles. To say cartoon kids like William Blank said. <laughs> I wonder what that second word is that YouTube won't translate. Oh, <laughs> boy. Who's William? Who be this mysterious William Earl talking about? Where is him with his hands in, in the air? I saw Bowser.exe on the subtitles again. That's a drink, chat. That's a drink. <laughs> Go for it. Get angry, Earl. Of, of Bowser. We have. We actually have. Oh, we've reached we've the climax, the guys. Climax of season three of the I think it's crazy how he's actually accurately chronicling his seasons. <laughs> he's he's, he's main yeah, character it shit, bro. Like to, if you have to, to Chris Chan, he'd be all over the fucking place. Main characters. Like yeah, main character syndrome, boys. He thinks it's all about himself. It's literally a TV show surrounding him, everything that's going yeah. on right now. We have reached the finale of the smoky kiwi duomo was just a, st a mere stepping stone on my path to becoming the greatest video ever this side of the the pacific ocean <laughs> the ultimate coomer the kiwi and smoky incident was simply the wed wedding of the bout of <laughs> us <laughs> what about payment and then the shit just goes down past mistakes and all my past sins and that's what labeled me as a villain a pedophile right that's what labeled me as a pedophile in season two down syndrome at, at, at the bowels from syndrome. the incredible oh shit remember what i talked about earlier about him saying every season ended with him being a pedophile can you go back like 30 seconds yeah sure and then we'll just listen to it from there because this is where he does it all my past mistakes and all oh go back like another 20 seconds my bad and that's what labeled me. We have season two of the, of the Bowels of Earth. It the Bowels with, of Earth. It, it ended with um the Kiwi and Smokey like saga, you know, me coming up to them and being in their podcast, right? And me like, and, 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 I, and I had to do my entire confession of all the past mistakes I did, right? You did like four times. I had to do the entire confession of all my past mistakes and all my past sins. And that's what labeled me as a villain, a pedophile, right? That's what labeled me as a pedophile in season two. Okay. <laughs> okay. At, at, at the and, 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 and then what? A music biz Molly came in and said, nope, that, that stuff from season two doesn't make Earl a, ped a pedophile. But now, it but does, now by the way. Yeah, it does. And people were hella mad at Marty for that shit. A completely different reason uh, at the end of at the end of season three because I like two D fictional cartoons. We've actually taken a step back. Take <laughs> a step back. Here we have like my my past mistakes that I've made. That everyone, like you know, in the low cow community knows about, um, is actually uh, not nearly as bad as liking and enjoying a fictional two D cartoon. What we are, we are not, we are not even going to like bring up. We are not even going to bring up. All the past mistakes and sins I've made. Let's do that right now. Facts. Um, Facts. Facts. <laughs> so you grope the seven, your 17-year-old co-worker, but it's legal in the state of Michigan. Don't make it right. Um, you bomb fucking... Threat. Bomb threat. You bomb threat. You bomb threat. You, Bowser, you are the one who caused that bomb threat. Somebody just made a YouTube comment. You ran in and ruined... Um, Tons of people's days probably cost that business thousands of dollars. Then, oh, the Discord, wait, the Discord yeah, and that's yep. just years of crimes, years of him ch 
chatting with minors, sending them pornographic material. The, There's all the weird shit with his nephews where he talked to them about sexual things like the, the mammal cock and the dinosaur cock. Yeah, the, um, the Discord one, I always like to point out that the biggest thing going on there is that he said that Lolly Lover, one of his right-hand men, a guy he had on his uh, friend account even two months ago, this good Lolly Lover guy was posting child gore in there. I don't even know mm-hmm. what that entails, but the fact that Bowser knew it was being sent and kept this dude on his friends list for years afterwards says enough about Bowser and that guy to line him up against the wall, in my opinion. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. I think, uh... I think that the whole Bowser thing and the, the whole situation with him and him not taking accountability is disgusting. Even though he's leaving, which is good, doesn't it doesn't absolve him of anything because he's unapologetic. His stance when he left is, oh, I've done nothing wrong. The internet's stupid. Like, all you're doing is uh, antagonizing them, right? Like, yeah. I just, I just want to say, if if I have anything to say to Earl, Earl, imagine, just imagine, if instead of arguing with the internet and fapping to lollies for like the past year, like half a year, imagine if all that time and energy was at the gym. Just, just imagine. Damn. Just, just put that image in your head. He'd That's be all fucking ripped. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine mm-hmm. that. You'd look, look like Joe Arnold. Sticks. You'd look like Prime Arnold, Bowser. <laughs> if all that time and energy was spent doing that instead, just just picture it in your head. No. See, no, nah, Club. That's not gonna work, Club Doom. He hasn't survived thirty years on this earth without touching the gym, and he's not going to set foot in there now. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I'm telling you, fuck it for. For fuck's sakes, if he did, if he really was just like actually fuck the internet and he's going to go out and live his actual life, because it's statistically it's like almost halfway over and uh, he doesn't have a woman. He's never had sex. Uh, he hasn't seen the world. He literally just sits there all day like what? It's a. Yeah. I, I don't understand. He's no, it's a bleak leaving. existence. It's yeah, very it is. It's, it's a bleak existence. That's exactly what it is. Exactly mm. what it is. Poor little sad. fella. A Bowser. You fucking pedophile, bro. We'll continue talking about you on, here on the show as long as you continue to be, uh, be a fucking predator, which I hope you don't do. Mm-hmm. I hope you just realize soon enough that, you know, you're a weirdo and all the shit you do is weird and you just stop it. But he's not going to change. He's trying I'm to not gonna cover. I'm not gonna cover him unless he's funny too. You know, like he is a piece of shit. But I also want people to enjoy uh, the shit. So like, I've always you know, maintained like, it's funny that, like this. I've always maintained that it's better to, you know, to keep tabs on these lol cows and laugh at them and poke fun at them than it is for people to just forget about them and let yeah. them do shut shit under the radar. Like Bowser would 100 percent start back up a Discord with all those fucking miners if people didn't have their eyes on him and weren't poking fun at him. So. Just stay, you know what? Just, just keep on it. It's all he might say. already, he might already um have a new one. Just knowing him. Yeah. So. Well, uh, you want to get into some some gift dodos. people? So we got yeah. some the dodos that we can we jump through. Got a bunch to get through. We can we jump do. to Cyrax or even see what's going on with Daniel getting out. Read his community tab. Figure it out as we go along. Fuck yeah. yeah, we're right at the hour mark. We'll probably be here for another hour or so, guys. Uh, we're going to read some donos right now. Take a little commercial break. Um, I, you know, and there's some some people in here who have just, like, fucking... I, I choked on a dab one time. I thought I was going to die. I heard you. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is insane. And I just want to, I just want to tell everybody, like, thank you. I There's Facts. no way that we can properly... Uh, thank you through a computer, but I hope that you know, like, this is insane. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are liking the collab. Go subscribe to Club Doom. It's been a blast Fact. having you. Yeah, it's been fun having you back, dude. We always have fun with you, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm just glad that uh, I can contribute to the party. <laughs> hey, man, it's always a good party when you're here, brother. It really is. Like I said, the chat loves it. The chat loves it. Yeah. We've got, got over a thousand heads in chat right now here. And the show's only going to go up from here, y'all. Like I said, we still got to watch Cyrax's body cam foot. Like, so Cyrax, mm-hmm. right? We'll, we'll get into this after donos, but Cyrax, he called the police. He called the police just to complain to them about, why did you arrest me? 
Like, why would you arrest me? Like, come to my, like, so, you know, still wasting taxpayer dollars. It's probably over the 120th call now that they've made in the past few years. And it's such, it's a video that I couldn't even get through a minute of watching because I just cringed at the thought of Cyrax, like, really having the fucking nerve to call these cops here just to yell at them about, well, why'd you arrest me? You know, like, he's, he's got some balls, the little bastard. No, no, they don't understand. They're threatening my family. They call us my baseball bat. Officer. You gotta do your fucking job. They've been doing this for seven years. <laughs> All right, let's get into some uh, the the gifteds first. I gotta thank. We gotta thank Max Ax, MXAX for Max, fifteen. I said, okay. Yeah, I told Max Ax thank you in the comments before the show, but I told mm. you again, Max Ax, we thank you during the show, man, and I'm doing that right now. But I thank you so much for showing love, brother. Yeah, thank you for the fifteen, Max. It's always good to have you here. And uh, it's always good talking to you, dude. Uh, what do we? Then Keems. Keems gave twenty five memberships. Keems, the uh, fucking goat. Keems is a goat, and he also gave uh, like a monthly. And he was saying like big ups Club Doom. He's a big fan of yours, Doom. Oh uh, so, yeah! Glad you're enjoying the stuff. Keems a cool guy too. Keems a cool guy. Thank you so much, Keems. Mr. Muda gifts 10 memberships. Oh, Muda, they, yeah. man. See, that's, that's the guy the who hasn't been sleeping on the gym exactly, right there. That's exactly the segue I was going to take, too. I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, there's a guy Bowser could take notes from is Mr. Muda because yeah. he's been working his ass off in the gym. But, and yeah, that's man, a crazy right. story, too, because Muda was like, uh, Muda was like, down on himself and he's like, instead of like letting it fester and be a negative thing, he took a bad thing and he turned it into a positive thing. And that's I so think cool. That's, yeah, that's a that's a, a quote right there. Like, it's something that people get, like, an inspirational thing. Because like, be more like a Mr. Muda, you know? Yeah. If you're feeling down, go to the gym. Better yourself. And this mm-hmm. fucking goat did it. Don't be like the White Bowser, where you're feeling down on yourself. Be a pedophile. Don't be like that, you know? Like, that, <laughs> that's the wrong way to turn. And White Bowser, White Bowser, you know... That's what he did. That's what he did. the answer to all our problems, you know. <laughs> yeah, if only I thought to do that. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, Buddha. Thank you, Keems. Thank you, Max Ax. And then I also got to thank out Kevin uh, McFinnerty. Kevin McFinnerty gave five memberships. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, I think it was right Kevin. at the start. Kevin um, always has that great picture of White Bowser just fearing for his life. <laughs> he's got his record. hands up. In the, yeah. in the presence of the cow wrangler, it's it's great. It's always great to see that, Kev. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, I see the rest of the gifters, but I want to get into some donos real quick. We'll start doing these. What about payment? Yeah, right. What about payment? What about payment? <laughs> yeah, I fucking love that. I love that. Oh, sorry. You know, we just had a little. I don't know why the stream ended. I don't know why it happened. You know, like. I think oh, that's Cyrax fine. Cyrax hacked us. I think <laughs> may have hacked us. God damn it. But you better not be fucking wound with me, Kiwi. I swear to God, you better not be fucking wound with me, because you made promises. Like <laughs> you should. He talked to me like a dog behind the scenes, man. Yeah, no, it's amazing. He really expected to be paid. Like, imagine, just, just imagine for one single solitary second giving a dime to this fucking pedophile. Yeah. Imagine. I couldn't even It'll imagine. It'll go to Genshin Impact. It'll go to Tencent. Yeah, it's all going to go towards further pedophile. Like, all you're doing is furthering yeah. his pedophilia. Yeah. No, you're, you're just, you're, you're bankrolling a pedophile if you give this man money. And yeah. me, and, in, and not even me, Kiwi knew from the jump he was never going to give this dude a dime. Never. People, <laughs> people thought I would, too. A lot of people thought that I was going to, like, pay out, and I'm like, fuck no. No, because we'll show love to the yeah, show love I'd... to the guests here. Like Club Doom's on. It's like, of course, yeah. Club Doom's gonna get Club Doom's getting some change. You know, Club, yeah. not even change. Club Doom's getting like I said, we we split in this He's in getting third. His third. Yeah. yeah, and but Bowser, you really thought Bowser was getting a third? You're crazy. You're Fuck. crazy. You're crazy. And the people and the people who gave. They they were like, do not give him a fucking cent. And he'd smugly be like, oh, well, this is me and Kiwi's yeah. podcast. Yeah, but yeah all, the don- all the donators would be saying, please don't give Bowser this. And Bowser would be like, well, that's a shame because it looks like <laughs> I am. <laughs> they were telling it to him. He should have known, but it never it never sunk into him. Oh, yeah, it never uh, registered. He didn't payment? compute, guys. He didn't he compute. Did, yeah, Earl GXE did not compute. <laughs> 
Dan is liberated Stavey, <laughs> forsaken marksman. You're definitely liberated now because he's back on the outside. For the 10, the white Bowser's a predator. You're goddamn right. If the scabies know, you should know. Even exactly. the scabies know about white Bowser. Words Even the scabies around. stay away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah his, his, that's, that's the one thing Bowser's got going for him. He's got a scaby free afro. Um, but yeah, even even the scabies know about Bowser. So, you know, it's, it's good that everyone knows. You know, it's just, yeah. I, if I had the money to, I'd get a billboard. Put a billboard right up there, just like on some highway somewhere. It's like, hey, you remember, White Bowser is a predator. Just nothing more than that. And I, uh, what would be the legal ramifications behind something like that? Because who the f- nothing. We're not saying Earl Doobie. We're just saying the White Bowser. They might be like Nintendo. If anyone might sue us and be like, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Bowser is not a pedophile. Like Bowser, dude, he may steal the princess, but but she is well of age. of age. Yeah, she is of age. What are you day. If there is a fucking open billboard in that town, especially near a, Qu- a Quogers, <laughs> I might seriously consider bankrolling something like that. Because that would be a beautiful <laughs> moment. Just yeah, like, just something like, in see, his we town. Couldn't put his, we couldn't put his face on it, but you could definitely just put the White Bowser is a predator. It's oh, just man, a, see, that's what I want. I want, I want his tell face on friends. it. Yeah, the White Bowser is a predator. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Let them know. <laughs> Spread the word. Oh my God! Just, just in big bold obey font. Yeah, and shit. yeah. The black <laughs> billboard with white writing. Just that's all it says. <laughs> yeah, it, oh, man. I'd love to put his face on there, but you'd be in, in muddy legal territory. Rose T for the ten. I'm getting in early for a request that Smokey do his scream and blades voice because it was really funny last time he did it. I'm gonna try. It's hard to do like a scream and blades voice, uh, especially when he's drunk. And if you're not saying slurs, but it would be like, Marty, dude, you got to pay me my money, dude, or I'm going to whip out my cock and get you banned, dude. You got to pay me now, dude. Now, Do dude. it like now, Captain dude. Contents assaulting you with a guitar. Captain, I don't, yeah. I don't remember. I remember that, but I don't remember Stop. the exact sound. Stop, dude. Stop. I'm trying to think of, uh, I, I remember when Attila was beating on him. Dude, seriously, <laughs> stop, dude. Dude, seriously, seriously, stop, dude. Dude, dude, um. Yeah, no, it would have to just be like that. Yeah, the dude, pay up now, now, Nick, now, dude, now, dude, you gotta pay up now, dude. And it would just be him with his eyes closed, freaking out about not getting his uh, his fire sale money. <laughs> he doesn't fucking deserve those fire sales, he doesn't pay up for half of them, motherfucker. That is true. Sometimes I've seen people donate him, like he gets like a lot of fire sale donos, and he takes like seven shots. He yeah, at least 20 fire sale donos. He doesn't even give a fuck about scamming. If he gets like a three dollar dono, he'll call them poor. It's like yeah. disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's disgusting. Nah, nah, if you're donating to him, you know what you're getting into. It's just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you ask for it. Oh, he's gonna call you poor. He's gonna be like, <laughs> if, if you ever want a good laugh, just look up low tier god, fifteen cent. <laughs> Someone donated him fifteen cents. And he oh, I bet he ever, shit a brick. Have I ever told you that story before, Doom? Of how I got one of his like biggest fans kicked from his stream, and the dude was like, "I've never seen someone freak out like this." Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I've not heard this story. I got. I was on Twitch, um, and I saw Low Tier God was streaming, and me and Miss Smokey were on vacation. And she was asleep, but I was drinking. And I was like, well, you know, it's, it was one of the first nights of vacation. I'm like, we got nothing to do tomorrow. I'm going to sit here and watch this fucking stream because I got nothing else to do. I'm watching this, bro. And first thing, I joined the stream. And I'm telling you, within a second, Corey Kenshin has gifted you a sub. And I was like, okay, okay, I got a free sub um, from Low Tier God stream, which kind of makes you immune from being banned if you don't talk shit on LTG. And there was this dude in the chat. This dude who was like, LTG got money. None of none of y'all in the chat do, though. Like, me and LTG are like... And this dude's name was Amir Khan. And I was like, this dude sucks. Like, So I was just going at him all night. I'm like, yo, Amir, you're poor as shit, bro. Amir, Amir, you make nothing. You you a broke-ass motherfucker. <laughs> and eventually the whole chat was like, yeah, 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 he is. Fuck Amir. And at one point, people were just like, yo, ban Amir. Fuck Amir. And I remember eventually LTG looks over and he's like, bro, Amir, you got to cool down, bro. Like, you got to cool down. <laughs> and next thing you know, Amir got banned. The next night, LTG went on YouTube and I saw this dude, Amir, just going nuts over there. Because over there, you couldn't give subs. 
So he was like the big, the big sub guy because he would pay so much, and you know. But mm. um, but yeah, no, I just remember this dude was freaking out. It was it was I don't know why. This L- some of the LTG's fans were so rabid, and getting that dude banned made me feel so good. Puff, puff the bearded dragon with the five. For the love of God, can I please have something decent to eat? I don't want any of this dead crap. I want my food to be alive, damn it. Alive. Well, uh, you know what, Puff? <laughs> I bad. heard if you hit up McDonald's, I'll fix you up real good. There's uh, some there's some fresh bugs over on Josh's newest food hack. You're gonna have to get creative, Puff. Yeah, you're gonna have to reach for it with a stick. Oh my god, that's one of my favorite donos ever. <laughs> Can I get something good to eat? God damn it. <laughs> oh, this was the one that made me nearly die. Smokey. My bad. My no, bad. you're good. My you're good. Bad. We I'm gotta thank bad. this oh, guy, dude. Sleep paralysis, gremlin. Sleep paralysis, gremlin. You went crazy over on my screen the other day too, and I, I can't thank you enough for that and this here, bro. This is this is incredibly generous of you, bro. And I hope you've been enjoying the show, man. Here we go, indeed, and we still going, we still going tonight. We got a lot of shit to look at, bro. And just yeah, like Kiwi always says, man, it's it's impossible for us to thank you enough for that shit, bro. But you're a legend for that, man. You're an absolute legend. This is fucking crazy, and you've done this before, and we talk like RuneScape and all this shit, man. <laughs> like yeah. this, this is crazy. And I, I keep going back to this point, but how do you fucking thank somebody for this? Like, how do you tell them, like, in a proper way that's, like, I just don't know, like, how? It's, like, where I'm choking on my dabs. I'm, like, Jesus, what are you guys trying to do to me here? <laughs> like, one of these days, I'm just going to keel over. Like, fuck. I uh, think, well, we actually do have a way we can thank the people, Kiwi Holo, because I, I we forgot to do it. Um, So, listen, guys, 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 guys. The end of the oh. month is coming up soon. The end of the month is coming up, and uh, and it would be really nice if um, we axes could are tips. here. It would be really nice if we could hit the tips golden night, guys. For my for my day off next week, we could really we could really use stuff for if, if me and Cat want to go out to dinner. You know, if we want to if we want to do something. Um, so we have a new thing that if we get um, if we get at least five dollars in donos, enough, okay, that we're gonna put me and Kiwi's characters on screen. Kiwi, can you show our characters real quick? Yeah, yeah. Let me, um... <laughs> fucking DS. Bam. <laughs> yeah, see our characters? If we can make... If we can make a $5 goal a night, we are going to put vests on our characters. <laughs> you can guys... Can you guys believe it? If we can make 10... Now, if we can make 10, we are going to go the extra mile and possibly put M. Bison hats on our <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to M Bison hats, totally, M- totally. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, it'll be a fun. It'll be a fun thing for the stream. It'll be a, a fun and entertaining thing while we're doing our gameplay. You know, um, while we're providing our content. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The Street Fighter <laughs> Six just came out. You know, I've been, uh, you guys have really been enjoying the streams. So I just want to say again. If you guys can support the stream in any way, like he's such an asshole, right? Like he's so, yes. he he yeah, says yeah. it so many times to the point where it's it's grating. But um, we're talking like, about DSP guys. If someone <laughs> in the chat's like this smoky guy's a prick. Like this guy's a prick. <laughs> like, but um, but yeah, yeah, DSP, DSP. He's um, I said that's going over on my stream now too. If we can make like ten bucks and <laughs> make ten bucks a night, I will put Putting like thousand character model in a vest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if and if you guys give twenty, we'll we'll put the M Bison hat on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, if it's, he's I don't I don't because there's really I've seen people donate to him before. They were like vest streak, and I was like, you're wow, <laughs> wow. No, the hype. If you aren't hyped about the vests, like you're dead inside. I just like, can you imagine? Like imagine living that life. Like there's only a few people who live that much of a sad life. White Bowser being one of them. But imagine you work at a job, eight hours, eight hours. You're at your job. It's hell. You're like, I mm. want to go home. I want to go home. I don't want to work here. I just want to get home and enjoy with my favorite streamer, Dark Side Phil. Yeah. And you get home. <laughs> you get home. And you're you're not, you know, dinner sucks. Uh, it's, it's raining out. There's nothing good going on. But the one silver lining, that one bright spot in your day is seeing DSP put his vest on. It makes it all worth <laughs> it. 
<laughs> and imagine the the horror in your in your heart when he doesn't get his hundred dollar donations <laughs> and he doesn't put his vest on. And well, see, dead. then then you have to take your whole day's pay and give it to DSP because it's the yeah, right exactly, thing to do. Exactly. So you just worked eight hours and you said, you know what? I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna get him DSP. to put that fucking vest on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, fuck uh, DSP, dude. Fuck him so Anytime hard. I think of DSP, I think of that Aloe Black song. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. <laughs> <laughs> His wife will not stay with him if he does not pay her allowance, okay? Okay? <laughs> you didn't even tell him where he's playing either. That's what's fucked up. Um, Thank you for the 200 sleep paralysis, Greg, Facts. bro. Thank you, brother. Thank we, you. Can, we thank we can't you so thank you enough, but we'll put we'll put the vests. Uh, I wasn't really ready this time because I thought Smokey's fucking around, but next time I'll cut our faces <laughs> no. out and put us on some vests. I need no. to do it now, but um, it it might take a second. No, you're uh, good. You're good. I I, want, I just I don't know why I just remembered that as we were streaming. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Um, if you want to read these, I'll keep them going. I'm gonna design. Our Absolutely. best people. <laughs> me and Doom. Uh, me and Doom will go. Me and Doom will let's go. Let's go. Uh, cleric Beastie with the five. Back at it again with the lads. Thanks for making work more bearable. Hey, no problem. Yeah, no hey, problem. Good to help you get through that shit. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. We're glad you can use the show. It's something to help you get by, man. Anytime. It's glad to have you here, cleric. That's a lip pick. Is that a crocodile? No, I think that was a woodland creature. My face. It's a snake. It was a snake. I was wrong on uh, both. The satellite man. Uh, every time I say your name, bro, I start lisping. Like I, I almost <laughs> just said every time I say your name because I had to say satellite man. But I, I still love you nonetheless, bro. Satellite man for the five. This is very important in reference to the crimes of the government. That satellite man's been hitting me in the ankle, man. He better go to court. Step into court, satellite man. And do you <laughs> own Ferrari? <laughs> do you do you own Winchester? Do you own the hospitals that'll fix my fucking leg? Who do you own? <laughs> Motherfucking. <laughs> he's, he's the best. We'll absolutely be looking into Tony tonight here. Like, there's always, every week we'll check in with Tony, no doubt. Oh, my God, bro, bro. Just, just a quick plug. I'm working on an Empress Teresa, like, uh, series right now where I review nice. that whole mess of a book. And, nice. bro, the first chapter when the government people be uh, watching her on, like, in their cars and shit, I've put so many fucking Tony Chase <laughs> references in there. I need to, like, That's so out. lit. I was That's like, so yeah, lit. they're following Teresa around looking for Hal, uh, <laughs> using the satellites to burn her father's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro that's that's anytime i see anything revolving like the government and spying and shit i just think bro like tony they these people need to hear about tony man they need to hear about the atrocities they're doing to tony <laughs> the rat Yo, king the rat king with the five fun fact use a different alphabet to get past youtube censors i it's feel not, that it's not a bad idea i never even how do you get like all i have is the english one so I don't uh, know how to switch. Phone, you can select different ones if you hold on to a certain uh, letter for long enough. Oh, get it? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if you if you hold down the N long enough, you can get all the different types, like the the Spanish one with the little curve and all that. <laughs> you chose N for a reason because that's the letter people are going to use most. God damn it! <laughs> I, I know. I even see people trying to make towers already. <laughs> We got Serial, the Black Dragon. Hey, Smoke, I remembered something about that Shimon. Oh, that's Bowser's shit. Yeah, the Bowser's anime. Uh, anime Bowser's, like there's an adult character that exposes himself to the underage cast wearing a suit of soiled, dirty panties, really gross stuff. No wonder Bowser loves it. Exactly. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah, he's 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 a fucking weirdo. And he posted an episode of that shit on his page and like it's it's, it's just more creepy shit that this dude likes. I'll never I don't think anyone here can understand what he finds enjoyable about this, but he he does. It's just, it's just so weird. Just just a just creepy ass shit for a creepy ass man. All right, Mr. Waifu Taker for the 5. Uh Bowser looks like AI uh, from to from Toy Story 2 with pubes for hair and 
and as a segs offender also <laughs> i love all three of you as content creators hey thanks I'm thank you my you friend stuff bro thank you you fucking goat we love having you here y'all let me come back here do oh <laughs> i think it's one for you doom it might be uh, Rice King for the five. Doom, what digital audio workstation did you use for Drift King? Um, I'm a FL Studios guy. I've worked with Pro Tools. I've worked with Ableton and you know, all that shit. But FL just, I don't, it just fits me like a glove. Know what I'm saying? It just works best with me. It's my favorite. Chris Cartoon for the five. Nothing but goats in from episode to episode. Keep up the good work, boys. Make sure you remind her and remind everyone Earl is a predator. Now, that's absolutely facts. facts. I think that's a, that's a sentiment anyone anyone and everyone can get behind. Thank you, for us the- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding us, Chris Cartoon. Yep. Thank you very much. Jesus H. Christ with the five. Sorry for eliminating you from Lol Cow Rumble, Kiwi. It's because Smokey used your Miami Heat skin and not your uh, the Iron Tweet skin. That's probably facts. That's probably facts. And That's fucking usually, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I usually <laughs> use Kiwi's character model on screen as like the character, but well, I used his Miami Heat skin from the meme that Club Doom made of me and me and Kiwi dunking <laughs> over Bowser. I but, I actually have to I have to request Jesus. I am far too powerful. Please, like, make me a jobber. He can't. He can't change no, it. Only I can. Oh, okay, okay, I okay. Gonna, yeah, no, and I'm not nerfing anybody. I'm only buffing Cobra, and he's still. <laughs> we, we only nerf Cyrex and buff Cobra. That's the only yeah. thing he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I've tried. I buffed, oh and I'm telling. I've told people, bro. I've buffed Cobra at least six or seven times, and he sucks every fucking time. <laughs> it's those drink combos, man. They fucking him <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wings won his second straight Volcow Rumble yesterday. <laughs> Wings is so Wings is scary in that shit, bro. Wings is Wings is a whole problem. Oh, Hillbilly geez. Wizard, bro. Thank Hillbilly. you so much. Uh how do we Hillbilly Wizard's always like he gifts fifty memberships all the time. There's probably like people here in chat that owe their membership to Hillbilly. Tons. Uh, and now he's donating 300 dude, dude, yeah. fucking loaded i guess and i love this eating pasta in your hood low-key underrated love you thank you hillbilly wizard i love eating pasta in your hood uh for those <laughs> unaware that's my wrestling otaku diss after linguini god ate pasta where he films his videos <laughs> <laughs> that's that's lit and that's i've heard that before man that song's a fucking banger um I don't. I, I, it's another thing off topic, but I, we were just talking about the local wrestling. Wrestling Otaku made his debut yesterday too. That's right. He's just as big as Wings, so that's funny. But um, but yeah, <laughs> I had Hillbilly Wizard. You always bro show and love, man, and you're just a fucking goat, man. There's really nothing else I can say. But thank you so much for that, brother. Yeah, Hillbilly. It's always good to have you here, man. We hell appreciate you. This is insane. This is insane, man. Like. Mm-hmm. Another one that I nearly choked on something for getting. This is fucking crazy. We can, There's no proper way to thank you, but just know that we're going to keep on pumping out awesome content, and uh, we're happy that you've been here from the start, basically. So, uh, much love, Hillbilly Wizard. No homo. I'm no homo. <laughs> thank you, dude. Sleep Paralysis Gremlin comes back with another hundred. Is this the day Kiwi Tapes dies? Yes. This is the day Kiwi Tapes dies. What are you guys trying to fucking do to me right here? Like, <laughs> That's from you choking on the dab. Yeah, yeah, I'm choking on the dab. Oh like, my God, y- you man. and Hillbilly are fucking killing me. Man, you guys are absolute fucking goats. Say, let's hope it's not the day Kiwi dies. We want to we want to at least get to episode 100. We want to at least get to episode 100, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hell yeah. Um, yeah, and, yeah uh, for real. But we're, we're going to be all good here, man. Just as long as we got you goats here with us, man. It's uh, like I said, it's always a fun time doing this and sleep paralysis, steam in the game, or sleep paralysis gremlin. My bad. I, I always mess that up. I don't know why. Um, but thank you, thank you so much, brother. And don't worry, vests are on the way. We're not scamming. I'm working on it. Facts. I'm facts. working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps. 
Keebs with the largest ninja dodos we've ever had. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Keebs. Yeah, dude. This Again, is crazy. Man, thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you, brother. Like it, it always goes without being said, but yeah, you're a fucking legend, brother. Keebs, we love you, dude. You gifted 25 memberships earlier, too. We haven't forgotten about all that shit, man. You are one of the OGs. You're here for almost every stream, dude, and it's always good to hang out with you. Uh, and thank you. Uh, thank you so much, man. I hope that things are good in Canada. I heard that you guys have, like, some wildfires going on. Yeah, and but, Quebec. Um, that, uh, yeah, in Quebec? Yeah. It's oh, well, then I don't give too much of a shit if it's Quebec. Sorry, yeah. Keems. I'm not a big Quebec guy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I love the rest of Canada. I, I really hope that you're not from Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you. HP Love Crest. Howdy from the beaches of Corpus Christi, Kiwi Smoky, and Club Doom. I hope you're all as anxious as I for the Goblins court date. Also, rest in peace, Daniel Larson. That's a big, that's a big fact. Rest in peace, Daniel Larson. Corpus Christi's a nice beach. Corpus Christi's a nice be beach. I've spent a few days at that. Uh, I I've had a few times spending, like, you know that Whataburger near the beach? That's like my, that was my area back in the day. I used to like that spot. But, um, but yeah, it's always, it's always good to chill with you, brother. I'm glad you're having a good time. Glad it's a good day. And rest in peace, Daniel Larson. Even though he's out, let's just, no, he's not. He's, he's maybe out and about, but he's somewhere else he's six feet under. He's out and about in heaven, annoying God. I'm so high right now. I took a few dabs too, Betty, like a couple minutes ago. But uh, thank you. Thank you, HP Love, Chris. Oh, shit, Charlie girl. With the 10, Club Doom got me through rehab. That's facts, because I remember she was asking where she could download them. I'm like, oh, shit, you know what I could do? I could put these on Bandcamp so people can download them for free. And uh, so, and I hit Charlie Girl up with the Bandcamp link. So I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. For you. That's, That's what's up, dude. Channel. That's awesome. Yeah. Your, your music is good like that, man. It's good. It gets like, it gives people, it amps you up like a DJ can kind of control the heartbeat of the crowd a little bit you know what i'm i'm talking yeah, right like with I, the with I the always, bump i always go into making a song trying to like what could i like what could i lift to what could i go to the gym listening to and just try to make that that's badass that's badass people are really enjoying you being on here and for those who don't know doom streams over on his channel it's linked in the the chat you've been dropping some honestly like fire videos and having some fun streams that's been oh, yeah. really cool I, to I see love streaming i love streaming it's uh it's it's just fun to chill with people in the chat and like i think next stream we gonna be i found this old game that i didn't even remember existed but i did play it like when i was a wee like like wee young lad young jit uh i was it was music 2000 it was some some DAW for PS1, like a like a music software for PlayStation One. And now that hmm. I've found it, it's like, oh, we gotta play that. We gotta do that. That's what's up. That'll be That's lit. What's up. Um, I promise we're not scammers. I told you guys if we met the goals that that we deliver the goods. So uh speaking of scammers, da, 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 da. speaking of hit oh shit, look at best, the best. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we got the vest on. We got the vest on, and now you said it's just, man. You guys, you guys showed out tonight, and now you get to enjoy these these vests while we continue our Street Fighter Six stream here. We're tonight. out here making content. We're out here making the best content that we possibly can for you guys. We're not pausing every five minutes, throwing a party every time that someone donos. You know, you guys, um... <laughs> I see a lot of trolls in the chat tonight. If yeah. you guys are being dicks, you're just gonna get banned. All right. There's a lot of people who are here for the fun, chill gameplay. And you guys who are in the chat talking about my finances, I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to have it. Mods, clean up my motherfucking chat. Man, <laughs> yeah, now we're going to win. Portuguese. But, but I was oh. going to say, Kiwi, speaking of scamming, um, I, I know I'm jumping on a lot of topics here, but I saw I saw the old fat drunkard only use me blade just went live. <laughs> I want to oh, check boy. in what he's doing. Want to see... Let's yeah, see. yeah, let's check him out. Let's, let's check him out. Sad, yeah. Let's see the let's, saddest let's, let's man in existence. There. Sad Sober Blade. He's on Beck's channel, by the way. All right. I promise people I'm not scamming. I see the rest of you. We'll get to you. It might be a little longer of a show. Um, I'm down. I got nowhere to go. No, get, yeah, get yeah. out of here. Get, get out of here. 
God. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about just back. Get out of here, Earl. Like we're done with you. We're done with you, Earl. No way. Did it work? Is this her? Yes, yeah, sir. Man, looking Is that Brian? swollen. Is that Brian? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Lowell's I've been talking to Lowell. See if he can come out. That'd be, that'd be cool. He's um, trying to get screamers to show up at his house. I highly doubt Speedy will come out because how degenerate we get. He he'll probably relapse. How does he have bedhead with that little hair? He uh <laughs> he, he did he did the whole rehab thing, so now he's clean. But you just don't want to. Yo, Speedy's been yeah. dropping some hilarious like, shit. My, like, dude. Hey, I've seen Speedy live. Yeah. But, like, Drink, drinking a bunch of alcohol will lead to drugs. If yeah. something's a drug person. Let's see who has more viewers, us or Blade. Yeah, what's Blade Please us. Let's yeah. go. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck you, Brian. No. Oh, baby, One that's what I've been waiting for. Three Don't get too hype. Make sure to put the rubber sheets on us. the bed for me and back. Splash Mountain Ale. Thank you. Is that actually Willie? No. Yeah, I was going to say. What did you say? Rubber sheets for splat? Oh yeah, because Beck, I was like, Beck would not be getting that. piped. Dude, honestly, how how blessed are we with this community? You look at Brian, and these past like couple weeks, it's been nothing but Beck's getting piped down. Where's <laughs> Beck? You know, like you're fucking drunk, your legs are gonna fall off. No wonder he's so mad at him. Like yeah, he shit. tries to, he try, he literally puts in the titles of his stream to try to quell his community by saying no, no toxicity. toxicity, and literally it's all toxicity because that's the community he's fostered, and uh, like it's he, it's built off of toxicity. They've always wanted to see you get fucking drunk and say the n word, dude. And that's and that's where like guys like him and Chicken Andy and all they try they they try. And keyword being try because they never succeed, but they they try to move away from this type of content. But the only audience you have is the audience that wants to see you do the toxic shit. And I hate to go back to him, but that's kind of ha- the the loop Bowser's in right now. Yeah. Bowser Bowser deleted all of his like the content he made responding to trolls and shit. He wants to s- switch his name on there so people mm-hmm. forget that he's the white Bowser, but he's not willing to make a new account because then he'd lose all those illustrious subscribers. Now, it doesn't matter that those are mostly people that are there to fucking hate him. The fact is, it's a number, and the number's mm-hmm. what matters to him. So he's not willing to try to yeah. do this from scratch and do something new. He wants to just say, no, I want to change my community. I want to keep the numbers I have, but I just want to basically do the same things that I do, but say I want it to be more positive, snap my fingers and it'll happen. And Blade and Bowser are two like, prime examples of why that just doesn't happen. What Blade has done is like, as, as a content creator, you can pivot, right? You can pivot into different fields of content and you got people who will follow you because there's people who are there for you and then there's people who are there for the content you bring. See, what Blade is doing here is like, he... He basically sold his soul and his body for the hype. If he would have stuck with streaming and not been a horrible drunkard, you'd probably see Only Use Me Blade up on Twitch playing COD with more viewers than you see him right now getting drunk in a fucking park with his legs falling off. You're, da- you're damn right. You're, you're, you're goddamn right so about that. If he, would have, if he would have stuck with the content he had, it would have been great, but he decided to pivot and he made the wrong fucking move. And the wrong tried. pivot. And in the last year, he's tried to go back. He's tried to yeah. do Call of Duty streams and shit. And but he's not willing like, to take yeah. the hit. He's yeah, not willing like, to take the fucking hit. You see, yeah, it's... um, I, Would he be able to build it back? I don't know. I think it, it would have to have been a thing where he tried to get back into it a long time ago. I think that uh, shit sailed for him. Before the rape allegations, before the dog tossing, it'd have to yeah. be before that. So. Yeah. But that's... Oh, Brian. I mean, that's There's probably not, it from Brian, you know, he's yeah, just like... Is he in the bathroom now? Where the fuck is he at? Yeah, he's in their house. Hey, besties, his, let's go. Is that his house or... Yo, that's cool as fuck. That little bar. Yeah, that is oh, wait, no. They have weird shit behind the counter. Uh-huh. That's gay. They need to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Already evicted, damn. <laughs> By the way, the owner of the house is not Fultz. Don't care. All right. Dude, this is so crazy. Like, people, I don't see a single person who's like, oh, hey, Blade, we're really enjoying ourselves tonight. <laughs> hey, Blade, hope you have a good night tonight, brother. Have a good stream. <laughs> Eviction hypothon. Get ready to dox the next place, Black. Black. <laughs> <Blast. laughs> <Damn. laughs> 
This is so bad. Yeah, it's been doxed. That's what Blade is. He's a doxing machine. Even worse than Bowser. Like fuck. Yeah, Bail. let's check out let's check out someone else. Let's do the the chance stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, say, Chase. Chase, yeah, Chase Wilkins. <laughs> Chase Wilkins, the man. Have you guys seen the I know it's really off topic, but have you guys seen the AI SpongeBob stuff? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. fucking That's hilarious. Absolutely. Yeah, I've seen that and the Family Guy one. Like, I yeah. can't li- like the Family Guy one is ridiculous. You can't even listen to it because it's just like they say things, and then every thirty seconds, like it just screams. Like Chris or someone just oh, screams at the top. It strokes of out. It's constantly. <laughs> it's like, yo, like God damn, that's so loud. The See, Spongebob- loud word, loud word will have what they call a stroke, where he'll just like stroke out. <laughs> but nothing like that. I haven't seen too much Family Guy shit. The fa- yeah, I've, I've looked around all the AI ones, like SpongeBob, the Family Guy. So I was looking if there was a South Park one. There, that There's a Dragon hilarious. Ball Z one as well. Really? Yeah. I love it. It's always like, oh, I got my dick snapped off. And they're like, oh, we'll go pick it up. You know, it's like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Can I ask you something? What? We've been asking. Uh, <laughs> you know what talk to you. Yeah, I just so. have a little treat yeah. for you, Doom. Now, can you come in then? What's that? Can you come in then? Yep. Yeah. Oh, is this locked? Yeah. Okay. That's right. Okay. Cuff him. Good, good. Hey, Chance, we're going to be turning around, put your hands behind your back for me. Okay? Why? 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 Because you're under yeah, arrest. Yeah. Why? Listen, can I talk to you guys for a minute? What? Relax. What? Stop, Chance. Chance. Why? Relax. Calm down. Mom, please. Relax. Stop. Calm down. I'm oh, scared. Hey, relax. Hey, Kiwi, can you pause it real quick? I don't know why Sally isn't doing anything. Like, <laughs> fuck. Like Why I, I is gotta be honest doing you. shit. I gotta be completely <laughs> honest. Like he's he's never sounded more regarded than he has right at this moment. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Why? Wanna, I I don't want. It's gonna sound like a dick move, but like he sounds like simple Jack. Like he's just like. Oh Why? my god! Swinging his mallet at a fucking butterfly. <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> this is uh, this is this is like he sounded weird before like, i see my party. mama at night in my head <laughs> movies <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see it from tropic thunder club dude you know fuck simple jack yeah i remember simple jack oh dude that's why that's why he needs to go to australia because he'll go over there and it'll be like when the the Viet Cong find out he's simple jack to be like you are cyrax <laughs> have you him go up cyrax. there start doing his comedy Oh. Uh, He'll do skull bro, scratchers for the Japanese. Did that sound like a sound clip from like Edda and Eddie or some shit? I, like, could, imagine, <laughs> don't. I could easily imagine him doing skull scratchers for the Japanese army. Like, hey, I got it. I got it <laughs> That's Tony Chase. He would. He wouldn't want nothing to do with them. They're not his race. Yeah, Tony They're not Chase. his people. Can you imagine him going up on stage, just looking at them like he just like looking at them with like those dead stare eyes, just being like, "Who are you?" You're not my race. <laughs> I don't do hang out with you people. <laughs> do you own Mitsubishi or do I? Do, do you, you own Mitsubishi? Probably. Probably. This is how Tony's brain sounds 24-7. I can't wait to see what he's been up to. I, I stay, I've been staying like clean off of Tony mm-hmm. just so that I can like be surprised every week on the show when we see what he's up to. Even though it's the same thing, mostly every week. <laughs> There's never any spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Tony Ball Z. Yeah, the government man's out of the game. You know, those God. androids. Hold on, wait. Those, for so long. You know, that Dr. Gyro and his androids <laughs> been fucking with my teeth. The and that red ribbon one, army, the fat one with the squeaky voice, I'm prince of all me. sins, and they're trying to steal my royal Saiyan penis. <laughs> the one who has the guns for hands has been shooting at my teeth. No, Doom's right. He'd be like Vegeta. He'd be going on about Saiyan pride and shit, dude. <laughs> 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 What are you doing? 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 What are you do
has he been arrested for? Assault. What? They were listen. They were on our. Can I? Can I show listen, you something? I want. I have. I've got mad throat game. Yes, you put me in the back of that police car. I work my way out of this. Ask Billy. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I show you? Can I show you something? Sir, before you arrest me, can I please show you something? Wait, what are you going to show me? <laughs> These guys threatened me. Okay. I have proof. Okay. Please. You, you, you still can't go, go out onto a sidewalk and listen, fight somebody with a baseball Listen, you know, listen, sir, I, can I be honest? Anything you need to keep. Sir, can I be honest? <laughs> See, they're in, you know, my days back in the animal control unit. When you'd have a dangerous animal like this and you got it, you'd get like a sack. And, uh, you'd, you know, I don't know if you guys ever seen that show, The Turtle Man, where that guy, he'd catch turtles. And he'd be like, get the sack, Neil. But that'd be, this would be like, get the sack, Neil type situation. You fucking don't want to be handling this thing for too long. Just tag it and bag it, man. You know? You know what? You bring up that, it reminds me of the, uh, you ever seen the whitest kids you know skit where it's the guy who wails on the animals? Yes, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) You've never seen that? He's like, the guy, he's like, he's looking for a job at the zoo. And they're like, what are you looking for? He's like, I'm the guy. I'm the guy who wails on the animals and they get bad. Like, I punched a monkey square in his face once. <laughs> like, I can imagine this guy just walking in beating the shit out of Cyrax. Like, calm down. Calm down. Give him some jelly beans. Cyrax walks up to him. Bam. Right in the face. Like, <laughs> I wish we could show that on stream, but I'm pretty sure we'd get, like, copyright claimed immediately. I wrong, fucking but. love that show, dude. <laughs> and it's strange. I feel like I remember it playing in the morning time and I'd wake up and, like, eat cereal and watch Whitest Kids You Know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I used to, yeah, no, I, I, that show was the shit. That yeah, show. Rip Trevor Moore. That's yeah, what absolutely. I was thinking. I'm like, rest in peace. He's the funniest one. That's probably the dude who's beating on the animals was Trevor. He was, yeah, that was just um, Trevor. And, uh, he's so funny, dude. Sam was funny, too. They, they were yeah. all funny, yeah. Yeah. Right, Just a little more, guys. I'm sorry. Just go. I swear to God. <laughs> Sir, this is fucked up. Sir, yes, sir. King, sir, can I please? Guys are to do whatever the fuck they want to. Sir, Ed's dropping please, his new please, album, please, Fuck the Akron Police. We've been asking you guys for help for a long time. I understand. We, I've been out here have not given dozens and dozens of times. Sir, can I please? Thousands please, of can I, times. Can I make a deal with you, please, sir? We can't make deals, Chance. Yep. You got two, Chance? You no, know, look, Chance, okay, we're going to make it. We're going to strike a deal with you, Chance. You quit fucking calling us out here, and we're going to we're gonna turn you loose. You never contact us again and we'll let you loose here, Chance, because we're tired of it. We got four officers out sick with bed bug scabies. We can't do it. We can't afford it, Chance. <laughs> yeah, and he would he would say, yeah, yeah, officer, I promise, I promise. He'd get home, get on a, a stream freaking out of someone, call him up and be like, <laughs> guys, you're not doing anything to stop these trolls from messing with my family. Best I can do is jail. I feel like I feel like um we gotta watch that that body cam of him calling up the cops just to complain to them. It's Let's see of, here. Is it recent of Williams? I think it's the most recent thing. Yeah, it should be. Um, or yes, yeah, it's the one with um. I think it's the one. It, I think it's that one. So oh man. Calls, he, I think this is it. Hangs up on operator. <laughs> I love how they link one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> July 15th, 2023. Nine hours, 37 minutes, 57 seconds. Yes, ma'am. My name is James Wilkins. And I was wondering if there's any way that you could pull me through to either your guys as captain or the chief of police. Because Absolutely. There's something going on that is not right. Why didn't you just like the chance <laughs> signal? <laughs> Drop and everything. Cyrax is on the phone. Yeah, for real. It's like fucking uh, Commissioner Gordon is about to come out and be like, S- Chance, what's the issue? <laughs> the Joker broke out again. Yeah. Commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> this clown guy's been threatening me on the internet. All right, that'll work. Like, have you guys Clay thinks he's running a muck at Little Mike. Okay, what's going on? Um, a couple weeks ago, well, this has been going on for a very long time. Um, over the past two and a half years, my family has been reporting in cyberbullying incidents that have been going on with me and my family. And we have tried to get your guys' department to do something about all this. And unfortunately, a couple weeks ago, one of those cyberbullies came to my house and incited a riot. 
And when a I riot. Yeah, no, family, that's what it needs to be called. That's what this moment in Rack's history is, is the the 339 riot. I got arrested because when I went out there to protect my family, I swung a bat at this individual not to hurt him, but to get him to leave. Leave and Riot he alone. He's got nothing to do with this. Riot. Leave Riot alone, <laughs> Mark. Please. Yeah, and I, please. I love how it's going to pause it. Yeah. Pause yeah. It. Of our other he says, I've, I've never, I didn't swing the bat at him to hurt him. The only, the only person or the only thing that anyone's ever swung a bat at not to hurt it was a fucking baseball. Like, you don't swing a bat at somebody if you don't have the intention to hurt them. And Cyrax's thing is like, no, I was just going to shoo him away like a fly, you know? I couldn't find our tennis racket, so I grabbed the baseball bat. I couldn't find the fly sawder since we don't have one. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That's their rug rat moving stick. Oh, that's terrible. It probably is. And came there with a sign and actually was on our property at several points in time with our neighbors and kept on, you know, doing stuff that you you would normally do at a riot, like having a sign up, doing this, doing that. He was not there to protest. And so I started blasting. a riot. And when... The manager came out of state and gathered up your neighbors? Yes, ma'am. And I got... I don't know why he did it, but well, he and the neighbors joined forces with this total stranger. He went around before coming down here, and he basically told them all a lie, and he basically gathered them all up, and they all came down here in one big group and began harassing my family. <laughs> He's began harassing me. <laughs> and that's that's point- not how he amassed a group of. <laughs> Like minded folk. Like the Simpsons movie where they're all like fit por- pitchforks and torches <laughs> coming down the Cyrax's house. Like, it's, he's acting like they came down there, like all like in step, walking like a fucking group, like in slow mo <laughs> down to Cyrax's to protest them. Like, this was all planned and organized beforehand. What really <laughs> happened was one guy was just like, hey, he, he mobilized the community against Rax. It's beautiful. Yeah. Basically, yeah, he basically showed up and was like, hey, you guys know. You all know. Like, you know, you just know you've seen the signs. Here. Yeah. Yeah, you've heard the stories. You've seen the little signs going around with YouTubers' names on it. Like, and <laughs> the the community agreed. They were like, yeah, you know what? We're like, are you there. smoky MCC? Are you <laughs> no, the smoky <laughs> guy we've been seeing everywhere, all over town? They're like, yeah, you know, we have seen those signs. We have seen those. You know, Cyrax, this, this Cyrax guy needs to be, needs to be stopped right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, we haven't voted in about like fucking five elections, but we're we're willing to fight for our community right now. Get this pedophile out of here because we're tired of having such a strong police presence around here. My boyfriend Marco, he just be trying to make his meth all quiet like. And this boy got all kinds of police be. coming up in See, here. Ed, that's that's what I don't get. Ed's clearly like Ed, Ed <laughs> clearly has like way too many prescription drugs covers, prescription drugs on him for his own good. And the police are at that house like on a fucking like tri weekly basis. And mm. he like Ed can't like that. Ed can't like having the boys in blue breathing down his neck all the time. Like so I don't know. I don't know. The community I can imagine, like you know, the more the more shirtless dudes standing on their porch in that community, the more that I think that yeah, it's just everyone's just smoking meth and staying up all hours of the night working on their car or something. Why is it you always associate meth and meth usage and mechanics? Mm. Like this is before you've been like, yeah, I bet that these people are out there working on their car all night. It's yeah, that car culture, man. It's that it's car. Yeah. <laughs> they're all, they're all, they're all getting their cars ready for the big drift race that they don't want Cyrax to be a part of. That's why they want out of the oh, community. No, I, know. He, he I know why them. I associate it with that. Yeah. It's because <laughs> I had a neighbor once who uh, ran like a an unregistered or whatever mechanic shop in his garage and would cook meth and shit. And one night he got busted because neighbors were complaining he was playing his God smack music too damn loud. Well, he sounds wow. like a fine fella. So God smack got him all, all fucked up. Yeah, God smack ended up snitching on him. 
point that's, that's what point. onto our property. And my family told this man to leave. Like, they told him to leave, and he Did would not do it. at that time? Yes, my mom was on the phone frantically with you guys trying to get a hold of somebody. It's big chief. To get this man to leave, and he still refused to leave. So I went out there because I do know the laws about how, you know, the stand your ground law and the castle law. I'm very well versed. The castle that. law. So I went out there with that, and I gave him a very He's very warm. well like, versed. You need to leave. He would not do it. And when I went to swing at him because he was still on our property at the time, he caught the baseball bat with his bare hands and stepped on the public property. He caught yet, the baseball bat I was swinging at him with his bare hands like some sort of god <laughs> and stepped at me. <laughs> I, he, I swung my... I ferociously <laughs> swung my club at him and the monster deviously. caught it. Why am I just hearing like some badass anime music and then I'm seeing like fucking racks just like shooting at him with the bat. He catches it. He catches like, it. Like Goku stops, catches like, and like Goku catches at, Trunks' yeah. sword. Cyrax looks at him, his eyes widen, like, oh! <laughs> like, whoa, no! What? What? And in what? one fail swoop, Cyrax is smacked to the floor, like, ah, 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 like, no! <laughs> and then. Do we like, need a Cyrax the anime. Yeah. Where is it? He's on the porch watching, and it cuts to like a still of her face, and you get like an inner monologue. It's like, oh my god, that's the Akron backhand. No one's used that in over a thousand years. <laughs> this guy, he's not even human. Like, I'm just like imagining all the anime tropes right now playing while fucking Cyrax and aware of myself are having this legendary battle. Uh, out in front of 339. I don't know, you know, like, when, when you get into this little cow stuff and you spend enough time, I feel like a lot of the shit comes from just, like, your own mind. I don't know, you know, like, eventually you can only laugh at Josh getting drunk so many times, but then you go over to the su the subreddit and it's like, you can laugh forever, so. <laughs> That's true. I, uh, I don't know. I went off on too much of a tangent there. We As always a result do. of me protecting yeah, it's my your family, fault. I ended up getting probably, arrested probably. for simple assault you did this when to I was me. just protecting my family. Protect my family. So did you show them all these stuff? What would happen if they electroshocked Chance? Yes, and matter of fact, there were It would, it would shock his bone marrow. He's too Beforehand, friend. in other incidences, my family has tried to get the cops to look at the evidence <laughs> because they the always ask, like, oh, like, like do you same. have any evidence? <laughs> it didn't yes, work. Do, and everything. Yeah, you know what he yeah. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You know what happened to him? You know what happened to him? Pause real quick. You ever seen those videos of, like, the electric traps from mice? They would, like, put a shock on there and Cyrax would just keel over, like, one of them instantly, like, like just fucking done. <laughs> like, like a little, like a rat or something gets electrocuted, just immediately, boops, done, just he's out. I, I feel I'd like prefer, he'd regenerate. I'd prefer, I'd prefer the bucket for chance. <laughs> I feel like he'd be like Deadpool and just regenerate right back to his regular form. Like he can't die. He's cursed with eternal, eternally being like Rax. <laughs> so he's Kenny from South Park? Yeah, he's Kenny from South Park. He just can't die. If only he dressed like him, we couldn't see his fucking face. Hey, well, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be no fun. I had to show them the evidence. They're always like either... We that face is the icing on the cake. We don't need to see it. Do, have you, uh, when I have clear... I have literally, like, I'm in the middle of the case right now, and I'm actually going to be trying to get a different attorney because the one I have still has not spoken with us yet. I'm Ever scared. Got a... Okay, can we... I don't that's... Know. Like, that's, it's, they're afraid. Yeah, they don't want is, to speak to him. He says that the, the public, because it's a public defender, right? I don't think they hired a lawyer. I mean, someone in the chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, you know, I don't think this guy's just like, he has a lot of clients probably. I don't, I don't think his only client would be Chance. And I think Sally expects them to drop everything, make a, make a meeting with me right now so I can tell them all about how Cyrax is going to freak the fuck out in the courtroom. And that's why. They want to find a new guy that has time just for them so they can explain to them everything. Because I think Cyrax goes on to say that they only spoke to, the, po the, to the, like, the lawyer once and it was the night Chance was in jail. Maybe it's like the lawyer is um, knows of Chance's like, behavior 
And it's just like, nah, I am not wanting to, like, put my all into a case for this little fucker. Like, I've looked at all the evidence, and it's apparent that he's a pedophile. I'm not going to dedicate <laughs> large well, amounts of my time to I defending him. I mean, that's their him. job, though. That's their job is to defend, like, detestable fucks. They get paid shit, dude. Public defenders don't get paid much, man. Like, I guarantee you they do not give a half of a fuck about this case. Well, no, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm just, I'm just thinking they look at Cyrax and go, you know— They've probably seen worse. They're looking for a plea deal, and he's not going to. He wants to fight it. He wants to fight it. Oh, you know he does. You know Mm -hmm. they might talk to him all day and say, "Chance, just plead guilty, plead guilty." And they go up there, "Chance, what do you plead guilty or not guilty?" No, what do you mean? What do you mean? (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) Did you do it or not? Fuck no, I didn't do it. I was protecting my fucking family. I should have admit the shit. I should have admit this. seven years. Yeah, I should have admit the shit. This has been boiling up for seven years, your honor. And then the judge is like, seven years? Good idea. Court adjourned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Send this man away to the then he dirtiest. Then turns around and goes, <laughs> they turn around and goes, mom, mom, <laughs> mom, I love you. Ed, yeah. something. Ed. what the fuck you want me to do about it? <laughs> nah, dude, Ed will be ready. I'm not going to elaborate, but Ed will be ready if the case does not go in their favor. Because he's Ed's their gonna security. Gonna, Ed's going to be like, you're fucking bullshit. He's going to walk out of the courtroom as soon as the door is closed, start doing court wheels down. Nah, cartwheels, he'll, he'll get contempt. Ed he'll will so get contempt on. as well as uh, Chase. They'll both get contempt of court for their fucking... Sparking I that think lip. He, as much as Sally's fighting for him, I think there's a part of them deep down that's like, man, if he goes away, the sleep we're gonna get, the peace <laughs> we're gonna have, like. No, they feed off of it. They feed off of the chaos. They need it. Fair. That's fair. But you're right. Uh, oh, but I do want to say, with this video we were watching here, you gotta give a shout out to William Glory Hole for having mm-hmm. that man. Like, he always gets this dope ass body cam footage. If you're not subscribed to William yet and you want to keep up with Cyrax, you gotta. He he's the place to go to see this shit. It's always crazy. For real, big ups, William. Big ups. Huge. The hugest of ups, absolutely. Um, let's see here. So what we were gonna do, Tony? Yeah, we always got to check in with the the government's. You know, the government's. Uh, what the satellite man up to today? Well. Uh, they need to prosecute the prosecute the accusers of their lives, accusing me and my parents, and they need their names and their identities of all the people who tried to rape me and physically assaulted me. All nice. need to be reported. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, this is all good. So this is the first one. How you guys doing? And they just communicated saying that Bill Clinton, some of his bodyguards, was some of the men that tried to rape me. Wow. Uh, those people need to get apprehended. Coming out military. hot. And just so you know, no, I am not Stan Palmer's child. Just in case anybody was trying to say that. You know, I had heard Palmer that. Had I had heard that rumor going between around. his front teeth. I'm not related to Stan Palmer. Okay. Well, Spread. So if you people take, try to yeah, call me Stan yeah, Palmer's take that son now. or child, <laughs> I'm not related to Stan Palmer either. So those people need to show up in court. Roll protocols to birth certificate. What's going on with that little hair or the ponytail? parents are. I don't see it. Does don't forget, really? I have a metal plate on top yeah, of my head. Top. See it? It says who my parents are. Wait a minute. That can explain a lot. Hold up. He Is he in his feminine me. form? Possibly. But that can explain a lot what he just said, but it's Tony, so he could just be saying shit. He said he has a metal plate in his head. I don't know like if that's a head injury or something, but it, he also could always just be bullshitting. Is that sad? <laughs> could be. Just I think like that might water. be <laughs> Def, it is. It is, I guys. Think, yeah, that might be Stan Palmer's kid. Yeah, it's, uh, Tony decided to embrace <laughs> his feminine side ever since the There's always been theories. Penis. There's always been theories floating around. I've heard Walt Disney. I've heard, but you know, the one name that kept coming back was that Stan Palmer. <laughs> He's just trying to make it work, Doom. He's just trying, you know, when the government takes your penis, you got to deal with what you got. Hey, you and you got to uh, work with it. Vangina's all he's got. They took his penis and they surgically grafted it onto Bill Clinton's men, and now they're coming to get him. All I know is the day a Tony take a Tony Chase dick pic gets leaked is the day that his reality gets shattered forever. Because then everyone's gonna know that if, if it's not forty one inches long, this man's gonna be branded a liar. Because right now we know he's as truthful as it gets. But you what know. if it's irregular, but it's just covered in surgical scars? <laughs> you know, like he's got a reason to think that his dick's been stolen. <laughs> uh, 
dude. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And no, the government's not allowed to look at that. The Treasury has the information. And the Treasury has to investigate which people was curious about things that they tried to touch my body. The government's not allowed to touch me. The government has to get prosecuted for the murders of my parents. See, these politicians think if they change politicians in government, they thought that covered up the previous history of the crimes of previous government that their people are conspiring with. It did. My parents was two of the largest landowners. Now look it up on the internet or look it up on factual documents. Which people was the largest landowners in America? Tony Chase's parents. Just so everybody can see the information. Mr. and Mrs. Chase. I don't yes. play no tricks. Look it up. See if somebody else tried to And then, to of steal course, acreage. only seconded by the Vanderwalls. The land. And uh, anybody's bodyguards that tried to rape me or anybody that tried to rape me must get apprehended. I'm not your friend. I won't ever be your friend, no matter who anybody is that ever raped me or if they tried to knock me out and tried to rape me. You might as well turn yourselves in. If you're a medical person, a government man. And there was somebody that communicated that uh, one of these times they knocked me out and the government man tried to steal my Jewish Star of David, my necklace. Or they tried to steal my wristwatch or something. Is he even wearing Those people need to get arrested and prosecuted. No, it's stolen. For sex crimes and <laughs> okay. financial crimes. Government hit an epic licks. Oh, and they tried to steal diamonds from my body. What? That my parents had put there. Yeah, the government is snatching chains. Those government people that tried to do that, they have to get charged for falsely <laughs> trying to claim diamonds from my family history. And they must get prosecuted immediately and they must get apprehended. And they must go to prison, whoever they are, for physical crimes and financial crimes and false claiming. They just that's my neck. Uh, he just sat my neck. Not tolerating that either. It says don't what? touch me. The laws of Elliot Ness say do not touch me. And in reference to uh, you know the unemployment office, I have to go over there. And somebody had said something about uh, some of these men had tried to rape me over at 302 Summit. <laughs> what? And hold up. Pause some of these pause men pause tried pause to it. they tried to kidnap me after. Our okay, so hold up. Not only has there been a potential rape attempt at uh, an IHOP on Las Ve Los Angeles, or yeah, on Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles. Not only has there been an attempt at the airport in Atlanta, Georgia. Now there's been an attempt at 302 Summit. Uh, <laughs> Tony, it doesn't seem. It seems like no matter where he goes, Bill Clinton's bodyguards are just trying to fucking get in there. I don't yeah. know. What it, I don't know he, what he it just is. he just walks down the street and they just hear balling by mustard and roddy rich man <laughs> i think i think see i don't think they're, they're they might not be trying to rape him i think what's going on here is bill clinton's just so distraught by the loss of his friend jeffrey epstein that he's trying to find someone who looks like him and he, he thinks he found the guy and uh but yeah tony i don't know i don't know there's always someone out there to try to get him every single week all I hear when I see Tony is Ski Mask the Slump God. Just any <laughs> Ski Mask song. And all that fucking like weird vocalization he'll add in, you know? Oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> That's it. He had some good yeah. ones, dude. I remember back when I was in high school, he was like dropping bangers, man. Oh, yeah. Out, out of X and Ski Mask. I always kind of preferred Ski Mask. X yeah. was okay, but I always liked Ski Mask more. I think X definitely need to develop his shit a little more, but he, he just did. died. He, mm -hmm. You know, but I blame you. I, you're a suspect in that case. <laughs> the murder of, of XXX Tentacion Club Doom was involved. Yeah, I was one of the satellite men watching him. <laughs> <laughs> one of the Lamborghini men. <laughs> the rat king for the two i don't think i can uppercut these dudes ah uh, dude you know a lot of a lot of tapists in the chat owe their fucking gifts to you too dude you are a king king Facts. of the rats Facts. thank you rat king i asked miss kiwi i'm like we should get a rat and she's like no 
no rats. I don't blame her. I don't I'm blame like, her they're intelligent all. little creature, dude. Like, they seem cool. Like, yeah. uh, I don't know. My lizards don't do much. A rat. <laughs> he could chill on my shoulder while we did the show. I'm just going to get it. I'm just going to get it and not tell her. Pantera with the 279. Yo, Doom, love your music. You the goat, man. Hey, Damn. thanks. Glad you're liking it. But a lot. I'm, I'm just glad people listen and like the shit. I'm glad that I can make these awesome, you know, alternative trap funk bangers with weird prog elements because I'm bored and people dig it. Oh, we love them. We that love them. Yeah, no, it's not even like... Like these are some of the best songs I've heard like in a long time. He says this shit is abs. Like it's it, it transcends. Like this isn't like so, like you would think. You hear a song about Drift King. It's a cover. It's a you know kind of a parody of Cyrax's song. But it's it's one of the best songs out there. The like, Cyrax on. elements are so minimal. You know, it's like they're there. The memes in the song are there, but the song is fucking amazing. It's not like a meme song where you can excuse it. For being like inferior to a, it's a regular song that has a meme component to it and i love that it's yeah i, I wanted it to be more than a novelty because I've, yeah. I've heard people do like lol cow music before and like i could listen to it once but i could never go back to it mm-hmm. see this is and i was supposed to say this earlier this is a story i've been waiting to tell until I actually like, was talking to you was around memorial day weekend i was with all my boys and we were out at the bar and like it was, it was near the end of the night. We we're outside. We we're all sitting around a table and shit. And for like the week prior, like a couple of my boys have been getting into the fucking Cyrax shit and laughing about it and all. And um, and I remember showing them. I'm like, look at this song. I was like, my boy Club Doom made this. It's Cyrax's Drift King, but he made it better. And literally, we're sitting out there, and I don't remember what song came on, and it just sounded vaguely similar to it. And like I just remember all the heads around the table, just like run your car, <laughs> not your ma-. And I was like, fuck yeah. I was like, oh, I gotta tell Club Doom about this. But I didn't wanna like I said I didn't want to spoil it until I was talking to you. And man, I said the shit's catchy. The shit people will fucking love it. It's so good. I thought you had multiple people working on it with you. And when you told me it was a one man op, I was like, Holy shit. Yeah, like like my I got friends who uh help me with the channel. Like anyone who's yeah. subscribed to my channel for a hot minute, they'll recognize names like Cheddar Cheese, Wookie Wookie. But the the music's always just been me, mostly because I'm very difficult to work with musically. <laughs> I've, I've had one rapper from my local scene back in the day refer to me as a uh, psycho Stanley Kubrick ass motherfucker in the stew. <laughs> and I don't blame him. I was not going to let him punch in. When he would punch in, he sounded monotone in between takes, and I was not allowing it. And That's just when your up, producer that knows that better. All you want. <laughs> when your producer knows better. Like. Mm-hmm. For real, that's what I would want. I'd want my producer to be like, yo. And that would be, honestly, I feel like that's really key to a good, like, rap song especially, is having the beat and also, like, the the rhythm of the way you're rapping, like, match up a little bit. And, no, yeah. like, some people would be like, oh, I'll just record it and we'll slap it over a beat. It works best. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. Like, you it should is. know what you're working with first. You um, should. And, there, and but, there should be people checking it. Like, yeah. Imagine, imagine if like there was, if producers and like engineers in the stew were actually paying attention. Lil Yachty wouldn't have embarrassed himself with that one song where he, where, where he basically says she blow my dick like a cello. One of the funniest bars I've ever heard because he thought a cello was a clarinet. He was on. He was on Twitter the one time. I was like, "Yeah, I thought a cello was like that thing Squidward plays." <laughs> Dude, it's not nearly as bad as like what fucking uh, Drake and Twenty One Savage got up to in their one song. Dude, that was some real <laughs> vibes. Oh, oh my, my god. god, we love Doom's music. Guestbo with the five. I can't even come close to those previous donos. Dude, don't. Worry. Um, but I wanted to say I rewatched episode 14. It's such a banger. Shout out Liquid Richard. Yeah. Big shout out Liquid Richard. Um, God. Episode 14. What? I don't even remember. Let me go. I want to take a look at the thumbnail. I might kind of know just a little bit. Um, yeah, I would assume it was like when we got Bowser to come back. Probably. Uh, yeah. Liquid Richard. Love the dude. 
uh, really nice guy. He's, uh, he fucking hates Bowser. Yeah, it may have been the day of the wings and boogie fight when we had Bowser. Yeah, it's right here. It's sorry, not sorry. Okay, so yeah, that should be it. It was like right after, it was in the aftermath of all the fatty, well, not fatty, uh, fucking Bowser. Oh, they are Bowser. fatties. No, you're right. <laughs> they are fatties. Fat motherfuckers. Oh, paperclip enthusiast with the two waterproofing his sign. That's what's up. Yeah, I got a waterproof. <laughs> got it. In my way on Thursday, I have to make sure my sign doesn't get hurt. Because if it does, these trolls might think that I'm not playing around. These fucking shitlord trolls are going to try to cut it down, and I'm not going to wet them. I'm the not going to wet them. probably so fucking confused. <laughs> <laughs> Beware of this house. Guest bow with the two. My B, I meant, oh, episode 13. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the one where uh, he uh, was, he apologized. And I think it was the one where he's like, played in Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime. Oh, like, it okay. makes me so sick. Uh, All this I, sick I, shit. I, I just want out. I just want out. Yeah. I just want out. I just want out. I don't want to. I don't want to go. After. That's something I brought up to Kiwi before the show. I think I was like, you know, what's funny. Just a month ago, he was saying he just wants out. He doesn't want to have to deal with people going after like pedophiles and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's too. It's too traumatizing for him. But yeah, he has no problem, you know, talking about actual like. We have to talk about. Shit. We have to talk about the future. It's like, dude, nobody's interested in your future. Yeah, there nobody. Is no future. The only feature you have is being able to be behind closed doors in somewhere like a Kroger where like, but even then, like people are always going to come after you now because of the shit you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We love episode 13. Can't believe it's already episode 21. Doom was here for episode four. Yeah, that was um, a good time. I, I thought it was episode great three. Time. I think it was uh, episode three. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, around there is really early in the beginning. Um, shift with the two. This is the work of Earl Stand, Cringe Crusader. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look what at would him. Earl be able to do? He'd have like some creepy. He'd turn invisible so that he could look at all the ladies. You know, <laughs> Earl had his superpower. Deal. Yeah, oh, Earl's God. little anime superpower. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking like superhero shit. I don't know. He would have to be something incredibly egotistic. He'd probably be like, I want to be Superman. It's because he He'd wants be to be Lobo. the biggest one. He'd be <laughs> Lobo. He only vertically. He can't change any direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, only up. He can only go up and down safely. <laughs> He can't change any like <laughs> speed or velocity. He just can slowly ascend and slowly descend, like he in like Halo Forge or some shit. This is the mighty power of Cringe Crusader, going up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome, creeps! You're part of the tape gang. You get to see my videos a couple days early. Um, me and Smokey have already recorded a Best of Larson collab. I'm working on that. Should be a couple yeah, more days. Good. Yeah, good. should be a couple more days in the oven, and it will be out to tapists. Um, and now that Daniel's out, he'll be able to see it himself. Oh God. He'll probably yeah. be upset with that one. He will. He'll blame me for taking his dogs. Russian mm -hmm. words with the five. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is already going to be good. Big thanks to you guys, and a big ups to Wings of Redemption chair for holding it down. Peace. Yeah. Peace, absolutely. <laughs> that Thank chair you, works brother. over time. Mm -hmm. Uh. And R.I.P. the Bogdanovs. R.I.P. They will be missed. Crypto will never be the same. That's why the crypto game fell off, is because the Bogdanovs are dead. Um, S. Cargoon's Goonies with the Fives. Earl refuses to realize that saying a 3,000-year-old dragon in the body of a 6-year-old is a convenient way for the anime to sexualize children. Yeah, that is. Yeah, it's a great way to put it. Mm -hmm. It's like the whole... It's a, it's a selling point for these fuckers over there, because it's like less of a problem. Over there, at least, it's just less of a taboo. And uh, it's like a selling point. They're like, oh, you know, we'll get all the Bowser types to buy this one up. Because yeah. our fucking anime is trash, so we'll just fucking lolly it up. And, and they'll uh, do it. Yeah, and these weird Bowser types will do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eat that shit up. S. Cargoons, you're a fucking longtime viewer. Much love, brother. Uh, you want to start reading Smoke? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, up. Uh, <laughs> Dab it. Get this one real quick. 
Yeah, Earl is a lol coward. Damn. Oh, he is. <coughs> I'm looking at your profile pic. It's some sort of lizard. Yeah. Not a not a tegu. I'm not sure what that is. It looks croc crocodilian. I don't know. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, I didn't even know that there were crocodiles down like in Florida. <laughs> Do you guys know that there's American <laughs> crocodiles? No, huh. I didn't. Oh, dude, yeah, they're cool looking too, man. They're cool looking. They're rare, but like they uh, they're spooky, bro. To see oh, them man. pop up, I'd much rather see like a big gator than like one of these like pale looking creepy fucks. Jesus, yes. Oh, oh, I love it though. And people were telling you too, Smokey. They're fucking. You need to watch out. You're in an infested area. Nah, they're lying. They're uh, not. The feline alchemist too. <laughs> Night with the restraining order. <laughs> 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 it's definitely a far there. Is that yes. Liquid Ricky? Liquid Ricky, <laughs> what up, guys? Have you seen, oh, God, yeah, the AI Smokey video? Oh, yeah. Video, yeah. Video, video someone made with me talking about Vaporeon. The, the future is frightening. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Have you seen this, Doom? No, I haven't. Is it, is it oh, Smokey's bro. voice doing the fucking, like, uh, Team Fortress 2 Vaporeon chat yes. thing? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see here smoky yeah, you keep i'll try to find it okay uh grunty. grunty i fucked that name up big time uh gruntilda bellend nike uh grunty is here she loves doom's dank beats that drift king makes her jiggy in her seat rah, rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's always it's always the best one grunty i love that shit yeah this is crazy <laughs> Oh, you guys will like this. A quick little treat. Quick little treat, chat. Then we'll get back into reading Donos. This is, we, we, we should really make it clear, this is an AI Smokey that someone created. Um, <laughs> this, I'm telling you, bro, the fact that people can make this shit nowadays is, that's, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. This is, uh, this is, uh, 18 and up. I'll just put it like that. How you doing, my friends? Did you know that in terms of male, human, they even got female background Pokemon music breeding, in it. <laughs> Vaporeon yeah. is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are an average of three foot three and sixty-three point nine pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks. And with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused Vaporeon would be incredibly wet. So wet that you could easily have sex with one for hours without getting sore. They can also learn the moves attract, baby doll eyes, captivate, charm, and tail whip, along with not having fur to hide nipples. So it'd be incredibly easy for one to get you in the mood. With their abilities, water absorb and hydration, they can easily recover from fatigue with enough water. No other Pokemon comes close to this level of compatibility. Also, fun fact, if you pull out enough, you can make your Vaporeon turn white. Vaporeon is literally <laughs> built for human dick. Ungodly defense stat plus high HP pool plus acid armor means it can take cock all day, all shapes and sizes, and still come for more. And with that being said, I want to give shouts out to... Oh, here you go. Yeah, that's where they ended. I want to give shouts out to... Hey, I'll just say this. I'll just say this. They're just cartoons. They're just cartoons. It doesn't matter that she's only five days out of her egg. She's just a cartoon. It doesn't matter if she is... If, she, if, she, if she's a Pokemon or not, she is a cartoon. It should not matter. <laughs> oh, my God. That is like, that is, that's a Team Fortress 2 thing. Uh, I was confusing it with another one. There's another one, uh, not a smoky one, but there's a, an infamous Team Fortress 2, like, lobby chat where uh, two guys just started debating which Pokemon would be best for sex and everyone else in the chat is just like, please stop talking about this. <laughs> oh, there's, there you go. Quick little little treat for chat. Uh, I can never look at Crogers normally again. Reggie Giga Chad. Yeah. I'll never be able to go in and buy meat from the quota. <laughs> the same. Yeah. No, I'll never be able to walk into a Kroger without thinking that White Bowser could be nearby. I know where those hands have been. I don't want them handling my beef. 
<laughs> I don't like the way that sounded. Thank you, Reggie. Great chat. <laughs> gum wings for the two. Earl.exe is not processing gum wings.exe quest. <laughs> <laughs> See, Smokey, you do this to people. You're like, drink. And I just get fucked up, dude. Every time we, we drink together, I get so fucking trash. And you're just like, you're completely fine. Yeah, I, you, I, I've always been able to like drink a lot before i get drunk and i don't even drink that often so i don't and like i said i've always said bro if i could just snap my fingers and be drunk without going through the process of drinking the alcohol i do yeah. i just do yeah. that but um yeah that's why i i do drink liquor but then like episode 10 happens and then even then i was fucking plastic yeah yeah episode 10 uh rest in peace yeah. <laughs> Shit. pogo lazul with the 10 it isn't funny how he says Cartoon characters aren't walking around when he's been to plenty of conventions and had a bad run in with the cosplayer. Damn. <laughs> that's that's a good fucking boy. That's something we don't talk about enough is the whole cosplay incident that he had. Where yeah. he like uncouldn't I think so oh, I don't you, know the details. I'll tell you that much. That's that's how Bowser he talks about how this isn't how I talk to people in the real world. You know how he talks to people in the real world? Well, he talks to people in the it, like that, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold up. He went to a convention. He saw some chick dressed like, you know, some character. And Bowser sat next to her. And like say say you're a guy, right? Say you got to you got to give this chick some riz. Like what would you say? What would you say, you know? Bowser sits there, screams I'm sitting next to the most, the, like the hottest girl I've ever seen, and like, and he, and I think he was shocked when she didn't immediately jump in his lap and was like, "Wow, like, dude!" Like, I feel like oh, this whole scene is playing in his head like an anime, where he like tilts his head up and screams it out, and she blushes. That's you know, what I'm like saying. Her cheeks immediately bit. turn yeah. red. Her cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, instead, <laughs> instead, she probably just looked around for his keeper, wondering where the hell they at and why they ain't fired yet. She stands up and says, someone lost their uh, child. There's, I don't know. I was I mean, saying, there's yeah. two side characters. One who's like, they're two little animals. One of them is mean and one of them is nice. And the one's like, did you hear the regarded guy over there? Look at him yell. And the other one's like, don't be mean. He it's, has a it, crush on her. And there's It's, it's the, the tapeworms thing. in his stomach. Oh, the whole thing playing out. Bowser's thinking like, oh man, later in the next scene, we're going to go to my apartment. Mm -hmm. I don't have an apartment. I still live with my man. But This uh, is going to turn into an etchy anime. <laughs> He's gross. He's so fucking gross, bro. And there's things we don't know, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, you go. Victor Dioro for 10. His own worst enemy, the Earl of Dubes, making video on grabbing boobs, putting signs in front of his crusty cave. This is your life now, Bowser, because you just can't behave. And that's goddamn right, Victor Dioro. That's a, that's a great, that's a great rhyming scheme right there, bro. And like I said, you couldn't have been more correct. Bowser, Bars. look at where he's at now. You know, look, he Bars. couldn't, <laughs> he, he could not stop talking about like these boobs and shit. And now he's he's at the point where he's got to put signs up all over his house to prevent trolling. I don't think these signs are going to scare off trolls, especially because most of the things, I mean, all of the things basically are happening to him on the internet. But uh, yeah, I guess this is just to dissuade pizza men from coming with pizzas to his house. Yep. Strange how his tune is completely changed now that you know he's when all he's alone. Really, you know what he's really going to fucking regret this? What? When he wants a pizza. <laughs> he got to go outside and be like, God damn it, I need to take the signs down. I got to take the signs down real quick. You know? He's yeah. Like, he should have Velcroed him up. Like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? <laughs> he's got to get his door dash. You know he does, Victor. <laughs> uh, Rexilla with two season four is going to be the minor attracted person saga. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. all season one, two, and three, to be fair. It's just, but yeah, I can see him going down that route. Just just being yeah. like, yeah, that's what he is. Yeah, he is. Uh, that is what he is. That's he's a polite few, way of yeah, putting him. He's only a step or two away from that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I want to thank a couple gifters here. Um, Enigma the Black Dragon gave twenty five memberships. Holy thank shit. you. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you, Enigma. You. Thank you, Enigma. You've made uh fucking twenty eight people's days. All those people are gonna get to see my shit early. 
You're always in here gifting memberships to Enigma. You're one of those unsung heroes of gifting. You know, you got people like uh, King or uh, fucking like uh, so Keems. Yeah, they're, they're like, oh, you know, Keems at it again. But Enigma, uh, oh, Enigma's, yeah, yeah. I just, and it's crazy, man. It's crazy how many people um have their, their memberships because of these guys. And we thank you, Enigma. Thank you, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Always. And you gave that 25 all spaced out. I hope I got the number right. Could have been more, but uh, definitely wasn't less. We hella appreciate you, bro. I got to thank Lost Q-Tip for the 10 gifts. Thank you, Lost thank Q-Tip. Thank you, Lost Q-Tip. You made 13 motherfuckers nights. Those people will get to... I'm just going to like pop off in chat with all my emojis that all the tapists get to use. Um, There's a lot of them. Yeah, of them. yeah. I love them, dude. They're one of my favorite things. I got to get some new ones up in here because I can have like 20 more. It's kind of crazy. But, uh, if, you, know, you know, and I know we can't do it. You remember the old... Uh, the when, when we first started my Discord, we had a few emojis. And the one we loved the most that had no context to anything was Joker shooting up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I ever get emojis, I'm gonna have my Joker shooting up emojis. It was him he had the band around his fucking arm and the needle in him and everything, dude. There was, there was no context no. you would ever need that emoji. But I would, I would add it at the end of everything. I'd be like, "New video out tomorrow, guys. Joker shooting up emojis." <laughs> it was my favorite thing in the world, bro. Like, it's hype. I'll never forget that. And it was so small, you couldn't even make out what the fuck it was. But, like, if you knew, you knew. <laughs> and Joker was such a minor character, but he was so eventful. He's one of the things that made RV7 legendary, dude. That, to me, is someone I'll never... I'll never be able to forget that. Just because it was right when the we first opened the Discord. There were, like, ten of us in there. And we would be on there. Like, it was, I remember people being on there for all hours of the night being like, holy shit, like, he's really just shooting up on stream. Like, oh, yeah, fuck. we'd, we'd like, be in that is... fucking IRL tab talking about the night, like, every day. We'd talk yes, about what happened yeah. the night before. Because it was like, holy, it was like the one day it was like, oh, my God, like, oh, man, that dude Joker left. And the next day it was like, holy shit, he's coming back. And then he tried, like, uh, didn't he threaten to, like, stab someone or something? Like, but yeah, that was, uh, yeah. It was a very interesting time. It was a very interesting very. I got to thank you, Lost Q-Tip, for the 10. Um, AF Gaming, thank you for the 5. And Paperclip Enthusiast, thank you for the 5. Both you guys, hella good hella good people. I always see you in the chat. You're hella... Uh, shit. I had like I a weird little sneeze thing. I <laughs> a lot. Yeah, dude. Paperclip is goaded. Paperclip's been around a long time. And AF Gaming, uh, it's good to see you here too, brother. We thank you both. Speaking of AF, you. I know it's not your yeah. AF, brother. Your AF's probably cool, but um, <laughs> America First, you see they got rid of Ethan Ralph, and Ethan Ralph's been completely 180-ing on Nick Fuentes and all them. I don't know much about the whole Ralph situation, to be honest. He's um, just he's just a dumb fuck. Fuentes is also a dumb fuck. They're just, I've heard uh, things about Fuentes, like he's like gay and like he likes to like <laughs> make sure that people aren't like. He's a big advocate for like semen retention or like something like that. I don't know. He's just he's all over the place. Oh <laughs> yeah, the searching for semen. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was uh his roommate or like this guy who was in his America First group after he like moved out or something. Apparently, Fuentes was checking his furniture with, like, a, a white light to look if there were semen stains. Why am I, like, imagining the scene in the SpongeBob movie where, like, they get caught blowing bubbles and they're, like, investigating everybody? They're like, did you do it? <laughs> <Was> it <laughs> He's you? a weirdo. No, but this, this was after the guy left. The dude moved out. <laughs> he, he, like, he left. He moved out. He left his couch behind. And the guy was like, hmm, now would be a good time to check if anything had ever happened here. Like, it's even weirder than that. We got to make sure that our employees are top notch. Yeah, he's a creep. He's a creep. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Meme nabber for the five. I didn't realize it was Wednesday, so I'm a little late. Going to crack open a code red and listen to what I miss. Hope you guys in chat are doing good. We are, Meme nabber, and I hope you're doing good too, bro. I hope you've been enjoying the show. Yeah, dude. Thank you, Meme nabber. It's a cool little profile pic. That'd be a. Facts. You should, you should do some YouTube, dude. That's a great one. I think profile pics like no max. 
Yeah. Oh, oh what's, up, man? Shit. what's up, brother? Afternoon, babes. Got glad to see y'all out and about again. I got the whiskey and Benadryl. Let let me let me know if you have thoughts on season four. Season four of Bowserverse, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be like I said. It's just gonna end the same way every previous season did. Um, I'm just excited to see who the players are. You know, every season seems to have a new group of players, and um, it's like I said. It's right now Bowser. I shouldn't say this now, I son. Mean, now I shouldn't son. say. I'm saying Bowser's Bowser's kind of a free agent right now. Yeah, if we're gonna be honest. So you know, whoever can make the best deal to him probably gets them. Now, son. Now, son. Don't go taking too many of those. I'm a medical professional, and I can tell you. They'll destroy you. They'll destroy your mind and body. Don't take too many of those bennies. Be careful. <laughs> As a medical professional, I'm telling you, just be careful, no mags. You have a good night, Maggie. You yeah, have a good yeah, night. Yeah, dude, enjoy it. <laughs> the red scum 420 with the five. I can't believe Marty really thought Bowser wasn't a predator. Um, I see. I don't. I still he knew. Yeah, I think I, he was just buddy trolling. I think yeah. he was buddy trolling and he let it ride for too long, I think was what happened. Yeah, yeah. I don't like I said, I don't I don't it's a weird think situation. Ever, I don't think yeah, he ever really was... thought that the guy wasn't a predator, but you know, who knows? Yeah, we just know what happened is all. That's all we know. Rogue Internet Man with the five Bowser touched me. I'm not lying for real, for real. <laughs> Rogue, bro. Now this is terrible, man. It's just, just he can't be stopped. He can't be stopped. He needs to he needs to be stopped, but he can't, bro. He's just gonna keep on doing this shit. Now he even got rogue. It's a, it's a terrible day. But Bowser, yeah. man, he's he's such a creep. He's such a fucking creep. Rogue, I'm I'm so sorry to hear that. Um I would recommend therapy, but it's not helping Bowser. Um, yeah. If you're therapist maybe... or anything like Bowser, nothing's gonna happen. What I would do, what I would do, Rogue, is I'd cover him. I'd tell everybody about all the nasty shit he's done, and then tell them what he did to you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping you by, man. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Record play for the five, seven years, Smokey. Me and my family have been dealing with this for seven years, dude. Bowser, if we, if he ever gets to that point with the seven years shit. He'll probably still be coming back to those old episodes and being like, see, right here, right here. I did not say I was a predator. I didn't say that. And, like, at this point, you know, Cameron Clubber will have turned, like, probably, like, 19. <laughs> so he'll be, like, looking at the stuff and going, Bowser, what the fuck happened since I last saw you, bro? Like, you're you're crazy. And um, He's going to be like, no, Bowser, you're doing so much better than the last time I saw you, man. Like, yeah, last <laughs> <laughs> you're doing so much better. You used to be so much creepier. Now you're like still a creep, but older. <laughs> yep. Oh, poor Cameron. I hope he's all right. Escar Goods Goodies still with the two. Guest. Still well, has guest. too much water on the brain. It definitely does. He's having a brain blast every fucking five minutes like Jimmy <laughs> Neutron. Brain blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta. God, a, a Carl. Yeah, I feel like he he's like a mix between all three of them. Carl, Sheen, and Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like all the worst parts. Yeah, he, lo he oh. looks like Carl. He, he has the... He's like a spaz-like Shane. Like, uh, and he he's like Jimmy. He's like, if Jimmy was... You know, if he talked as smart as he does, but if he like didn't have any brain power. So he just like, yeah. you know... Tried to sound smart, but he was actually a dumb shit. If it's only like, Bowser was into Ultra Lord instead, <laughs> things would have been so different. If he was just into Ultra Lord, he would have got his own spin off. Poor fucker. Uh, Lupus and fa Fabula with the five. Uh, I'll be real. I get sick, and sometimes when I, I gotta leave when it comes to this wacko. Much love, though, my boys. Take a good dab for me. Sorry, dude. We don't mean to make you sick. I get it, though. These people. Yeah, are I get it 100. percent I get it 100. percent If you can't, if you can't stomach watching this dumb shit, like, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. White Bowser, he's not uh he's not the most palatable. <laughs> That's yeah, the best no, way to put it. They're, they're not. And the thing is, I've actually, 
I'm a person, I like, like, fucking horror movies and stuff, but, like, with this stuff, it will actually make me sick sometimes. And it's yeah. crazy to even think that, like, a, men- a mental seeing something could, like, affect your body. But I've seen some things that are just, like, horrifying, bro. Yeah, no, last week when we were talking about Bowser, we were talking about, like, he put up a post, like, oh, instead of six years old, why not six months old? And at that point, I'm like, why are you even joking about this shit, you fucking Yeah, weirdo? Yeah, I remember yeah, those. It's gross. Kimi Tape is a no fap YouTuber confirmed it. It is. It is. Now, how do you, you guys may ask yourselves, how does Kiwi Tapes just have so much energy, so much life, semen retention? Cocaine. What? <laughs> it's like the Theo Vaughn kick yeah, <laughs> clip. Yeah, my favorite type of weed is uh, cocaine. <laughs> hey, you, yeah, you're the one who said it back in the early Bowser clips, remember? I have a coke plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember you were one of the only people that acknowledged that, so that's telling of you, too. My buddy my buddy <laughs> was listening to it and brought it to think He was like, your buddy said he had a coke plate. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? Like, I listened back, and I was like, holy shit, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, dude, that wasn't me. That was dr- <laughs> that was tequila. We, fucking those those were strange days drinking tequila on stream. Um, <laughs> rogue internet man with the ten. Also, before I go take a wicked dump, I'd love to have you on one of my streams, Kiwi. If you're down for it, I still got to get a way to contact Smokey Two. Lol. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. That'd be Smokey cool. still uh, not not the old one, but Smokey still got a Twitter. Rogue, yeah, I made a new one. I made a new one yesterday. I, <laughs> Rogue, Rogue and I used to have a thing on Twitter where I would DM him uh, fucking Walt Jr. memes and like <laughs> merchandise, and he'd be like, I want to break it. I hate Walt Jr. so fucking much. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you find that Twitter, uh, Rogue, that's, that, that's the same one. I still got the same one with all the fucking you mean, uh, Walt Jr. memes. You mean Flynn the Pussy Getter? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, Flynn the Ultimate Alpha Male. Dude, when he would just tell his... When he'd be so salty to his parents, I can't help but laugh these days. When he he's eating breakfast, and he'd be like, Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> he just wanted breakfast. Yeah, the king of breakfast. Yeah, yeah Rogue, I, I have a, uh, a Discord. Not breakfast. I have a Discord if you want to. Uh, I think it's posted here in chat, but we'll we'll get in contact about that. That's very interesting. You guys have a very high production thing. I'd have some questions. Oh yeah, some questions. I'd love to work with brains at some point. I'm in brain stream all the time, and yeah, it'd be cool if we got to work together. So I will. I'll try yeah. hitting him up. Bet bet. Club Doom is an am- amazing uh, creator too. Rogue like the Smash Bandicoot video alone. I'd love to. I don't know if we'll have time today, but I'd love to talk to you about that sometime in depth. Oh, yeah, because Smash, Smash is funny. Smash yeah. has been hilarious. Oh, that video. It was it was good, and, I, and it's like, <clears throat> shit. Sorry. <laughs> no, the Smash Bandicoot video was absolutely fucking awesome. Like I said, I was watching good. that, bro, just like, like doom like you made an amazing video on that motherfucker like it was so like i said before it was one of those videos where it ends like and you don't even notice how long it is yeah it is it goes by so quick because you're like damn like you just want to keep watching it and you can tell like the passion i feel like that's what i like crave in videos you can tell that doom enjoyed the process Facts. it was so much fun yeah that's that's the best when you're laughing at the shit as you're making Mm -hmm. it that's the best uh we got bodacious cno demand rogue to drink water for his health facts rogue facts rogue people in chat if you're still here i think he said he had to leave and take a dump so but if you are still here rogue you gotta gotta hydrate you might still be dumping as we speak (laughs) currently currently shitting rh nothing but cracker barrel oh my god rh with the five debate this who would win in the fight amberlin reed or si amberlin Amberlin. Yes. Yeah. But at the end here, he says he feels like Cyrax would have a match. I can't. Mm. There's in no universe with Cyrax have a match. Amberlin, especially, she would just like she. All she have to do is fall forward, and it's she'd not even make like, him into a buck bag after yeah, she's you, done. And I'm serious. It wouldn't even be like a Marty thing or like an aware of myself thing. Like she would fucking crush him. Like like seriously. Like there would he would be like a puddle of Cyrax. <laughs> be, yeah, I don't even think he could inflict any damage. 
It'd be like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Like you'd see it in slow mo, just like ah, and the next thing you know, just nothing. Just, just, yeah, it's like, like it's like uh, that Liu Kang fatality. Only instead of dropping a Mortal Kombat machine, it's just dropping Amberlyn Reed <laughs> on Cyrex. <laughs> like the. Oh, I don't know. I fucking Amberlynn Reed. I love the Mr. Snowflake doc he's doing. It's so comprehensive. Oh yeah. Um, thank you for the five. Shiba Inu with the twenty. Hey, you guys, I love the stream. Hope y'all are doing swell. Man, thank you. I am. Thank you. Yeah, Hope we're doing great. Um, just vibing, bro. I gotta say though, the Frieza, the Frieza saga on DBZ was like another one of my childhoods. I remember oh, yeah. watching that yeah. on. What was it? It was like the Saga. Nick thing for anime. What was it? It was. It had Kunab. a name. Kutu, no, it wasn't Tunabi. It was like for Nickelodeon. They had a thing where they'd play oh, anime. Oh, right. They had Dragon Ball Z Kai. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what what it was called. It had a name, but I would watch that, <laughs> and I I would get pissed if I missed a week. I'd <laughs> get fucking pissed because I wouldn't know. But uh, it was amazing. I loved that shit. Yeah, Loved Frieza it. Saga, the Dark Tournament in Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm, uh, all yeah. Good. Yeah, dude. Excellent taste to Doom. Uh, <laughs> team. team Bogart. <laughs> Leave it to Earl to be totally in the wrong yet talk as if he's the smartest one in the room. Teams, that's the vibe this whole video gives off. And basically, the vibe he gives when he talks. He always has that attitude about him. It's fucking nuts. Like he's the smartest man in the room. Yeah. Like he knows everything, and he's just talking down on everyone while he's just saying absolute dumb shit. Yeah, it's, it's like Gregory House. If Gregory House was fucking stupid, <laughs> he had a lisp. Shitcock <laughs> McPee boner with the twenty. The fact that Bowser would look like an overweight Walter White if he shaved his head sends me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And thank you, Shitcock McPee boner. He's a regular <laughs> on my streams. He's great. What a goat. I can imagine that too. Bowser looking at him, say my name. They look at him and go, "White Bowser," and he goes, "Actually, actually, I changed it last night to AMVW. I'm no longer the White Bowser." <laughs> I wanted to make sure you knew about it. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm gonna be posted AMVs there, so if you and your buddies in the back want to go subscribe, I, I, we're doing a really good Avatar AMV this week, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Wiki, you know the sweet, I know the product. We need the cook. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's good. I love that. Thank you, shitcock McPee boner. <laughs> Danny's liberated Scaby for sake March, but the Scaby's back at it for the five. Danny wasn't looking too good last time I saw him, and I got a pretty good look. It's safe to assume that Daniel Larson is, in fact, dead. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Daniel Larson's liberated Scaby for updating us. The chat now knows Daniel Larson. Rest in peace, wherever he is. Um, and yeah, with the like angels. No, yep. If you see anyone saying they're Daniel Larson or Daniel Larson himself on videos, they're old videos he made just like just so he could try to trick people when the day mm -hmm. eventually came. So yeah, don't don't be fooled. Yeah, don't like he doesn't need any musical deals or anything. He's dead. Yeah, if you no, see any footage of him, no more cameos. Don't buy any yeah. more cameos from. Don't donate to him. Yeah, because it's, it's just gonna be going to an empty, an empty YouTube channel. For yep. real, for real. Duolingo, right? Isn't this like a thing that helps you with speaking like Spanish? Hmm. For the five, Duolingo has found out about your Miss Spanish. <laughs> 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 Duolingo is rapidly approaching your location. Your no, no, Duolingo. I caramba. This yeah. is the problem with AI, guys. It's gonna yeah, hold bro. us to our shit. <laughs> they heard that AI of me talking about the friggin' Vaporia item. We're like, it's not Spanish enough. It's not Spanish enough. <laughs> no hablo espanol. <laughs> no me gusta. <laughs> Metal Wolf. Bowser looks like he's going through a divorce. God damn. He does. He looks like his wife just taking his kid. <laughs> Back uh, in my mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> he's having the fucking long and he's having the cow ragged freak out in court. My wife's fucking attacking me and she's trying to take my fucking kids. I guess he's on coke. He's just fucking railing lines, just freaking out. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, that's my favorite. Girl fucking divorced him. He hasn't been doing too hot. 
That's Quote my wants favorite. Me to pay over three thousand dollars. <laughs> I have to take up extra shifts at Quoga. I, I a man can only take so much. A man can only take... <laughs> Oh, I can't. I can't. This is, <laughs> this is my favorite thing ever. Oh, it is. He he's does. like a divorced person. He does. He's, he's going through it. He's going through it. <laughs> the divorce from Marty really broke him. <laughs> yeah. He thought he was the one. <laughs> It was a rough divorce. <laughs> oh my god. That was I needed that metal wolf. Thank you. I believe Marty took the kids and Bowser was not happy about it. <laughs> yeah. You don't take Bowser's kids from oh. Discord servers. <laughs> He's getting half his half his paycheck from Chuck E. Cheese is getting taken by that hole in alimony <laughs> and in child support. How's he supposed to manage a Chuck E. Cheese and take care of his disabled mother? And deal with his divorce at the same time. My dog agrees. Uh, How am I going to do streams reacting to opening up Genshin Impact boxes <laughs> if I have to pay this fucking bitch all this money and alimony? I don't even know if these kids are mine. I'm still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> these kids, these kids are not, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Chris Cartoon with the 20. He he can he thinks he can run and hide, but the truth is he can't. There are three ways this will end: him in jail, him leaving the internet permanently, or him being six feet under. And that's the honest truth. To be blunt, man, that I, is it's the god honest the truth. truth. Yeah, I mean, he's right. Those kids. If you really want to prove those kids are mine, then we can get on Maui and. We <laughs> But Maui, but Maui, you don't understand. What she found on my computer is just cartoons, Maui. You don't understand. What she found on my computer is just cartoons. It is not grounds for divorce. I could see him just trying to find an excuse to not go on there. Be like, Jerry Springer is dead. He's dead. <laughs> and then be like, what about Maury? Maury's not still on. Maury's not still on. It's not still on TV. I swear, I know it's not still on. I just imagine him in these situations having to talk himself out of it because he always, he'd always try to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Corpus uh, Cactus, Jim Rat, White Bowser, <laughs> and just Coach Jason Block. <laughs> Hemingway, Hemingway, we have an operation for you. Uh, dude, that is so true. Him at Bowser is a gym rat. That would be a very humorous arc. Someone get in touch with Big Lenny and tell him about this cookie cutter white dude. Bowser and tell him that he needs to whoop him in the shape. Get Big, this man in the gym. Like Big Lenny's leg is bad right now. It's worse than <laughs> oh, Blades. Oh, it's, oh no. Oh, oh, speaking of Blades, speak, let's, let's put him on stream while we're finishing. It's that, leaking like, so bad, bro. See what, see what oh. Blades up to. <laughs> It's a leaking so fucking bad. That's I've never gross. seen anything I don't like it. I'm trying to talk over it because I don't want to think about worse legs. Than once you said leaking. Well, I mean, I like, you oh. talked about Vaporeon, so this is just par for the course. No, well, leaking. But like, <laughs> ew, like, yeah, Lenny's like, leg be leaking like a Vaporeon, bro. With acid oh. armor in effect. Oh, do we leave it inside? Do we leave it inside? Oh. All right, once, all right, I'll, I'll just go get it. Yeah, your speaker's right there. Um... I'll fucking try to figure out the app for you. So you Dude, those oh. teeth. Those He's teeth crack me up. Right. <laughs> Open that mouth, Blade. Let us get a good look at those pearly whites. You look like fucking Rudy Giuliani. Shit, dude, Come so on. Cheeto donated three dollars. Cheeto? I forgot about that kid. What was up with shirtless dude? Was he looking to get pole jack? Hey, so let's just keep, I, keep reading donos and see if... Those fucking teeth crack me up, bro. They do. They Those do. teeth. Where is it here? He's such a piece of shit. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, it won't even show his fucked up teeth. He got, like, good-looking prosthetic ones. He was streaming with some child. God, he's so <laughs> decrepit-looking. Fuck him, yeah. Okay. Lupus cre Lucius creeps with the five. I had to be part of the Bowser verse, at least as a footnote. I love you guys. Take a rip off your dab pen. Oh, you th he's like, I had to give one. I got to be part of the Bowser verse. 
<laughs> That's crazy yeah. to yeah, think that uh, – it's crazy to think we don't even have him on anymore and it's still like considered part of the verse. Yeah, he, the Bowser verse will forever go on. You know, he'll be in – if he ever gets arrested, Bowser will be writing letters from jail and be like, in season six of Bowserverse, I went to the showers and was greeted with a very unlikely surprise. <laughs> like, hey, it's, Bubba. It's, it's gonna be like some real yeah. fucked up shit about prison. Yeah. Today I dropped the soap. Do we miss a dono? I see a Mr. Dono thing in the chat. We still have a lot to get to. Yeah, so we, we have like 30. Super trailer, I guess. We have 39 more. And if it's yeah. a like a monthly. Uh, one, I miss those so often. I'm so sorry if I missed the monthly one. <laughs> I try to keep, keep them, but... Super, we'll keep an eye on you in chat, dude. And, yeah, okay, I see you, Super. Super, say what you want, dude, and we'll throw it up. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you. Hashtag Herp Gang. Herp Gang. <laughs> Herp Gang for life. Like, people think I'm fucking around. No. No. Herp Gang. That's going to be the next tier in my membership. It's just, it'll be just called like herpes riddled individual. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you read this, Smoke. I'm going to keep an eye out here. Well, I think this one's for Doom. Oh, uh, yeah. One. Uh, first, last with the five. Hi, Club Doom. Do you have any interest in remixing Earl's Savage Like Bowser or any of his other songs? Um, maybe I'm thinking of maybe one day sampling the, the tracks from the acapella tracks from his one SoundCloud where he just goes, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like that, that I could maybe sample and like, I don't know, put a, put like smoke perp over it or some shit, some 808, some hi hats and shit. That would be fun. Yeah, that that shit would be lit. That shit would be lit. <laughs> We got we got AS Eater sixty nine for the five. We need standardizing testing on locales so kids know who not to grow up to be. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty easy, you know. You just at some point in your life, you know, you gotta make you know one a right turn, a left turn, or you gotta go down the locale route. And most people, like ninety nine percent of people, go down either the left or right path. And then, like you know, you got your white bowsers or your only lose use me blades who go down the locale path. So I feel like it's always going to be a crapshoot. Yeah, absolutely. There's no way around it. Uh, I demand Earl, payment, Kiwi. Now, now, now. now. I don't know if you're doing the Chris now, Chan one. No, no, no. Yeah, there's different versions of the now, now, now. The Chris Chan like. My mother and father are angry at me, so you get everything off the internet now, 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 now. Like, or the um, or the Cyrax, the classic. No, no, no. But I think you're doing that one. Yeah, I think it's the pay the pay racks. Up, kiwi, pay up, Kiwi. <laughs> oh, that's was super trailers. trailers. That's, yeah, that's, that's the easiest one. Larson and Cobra. Cobra smells the best. Larson smells the worst. <laughs> Easy. I love that. I love that answer. All right. I hope that we got you, Super Trailer. I'm sorry that we missed you, brother. All oh, right, man. Stingy. All right, Stingy. What's up, brother? For the 15, I've been doing boxing for probably 10 years now. And I promise everyone going to the gym working out, you'll be happier. I dubs is a spit on my face to boxing, though. Yeah, no, I dubs should definitely not be in the ring. Most of these yeah. YouTube boxing, like, you know, there's just like look at Boogie and shit. Like most of these guys are an absolute disgrace to the sport. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, let me tell you something, Stringy, Stingy, all Stingy, all the greats uh, went in the ring, and after they got their ass whooped, they just start crying because people don't like them. That's what they started doing. Yeah, uh, when when Tyson bit off uh, parts of Holyfield's ear. He started crying, and he's like, it's because people don't like me. Uh. I, I thought he was crying because his fucking ear hurt. <laughs> well, not Tyson. Tyson's got belly full of ear meat. It's Holyfield who yeah. ain't well, got look, any look. ear. The fact of the matter is, not every boxer can be like as good as Jake Paul. So they're all just gonna be cut. They're all just kind of just gunning for second place at this point. Not everybody can afford the type of shit that goes under the radar that Jake Paul uses. We'll put it like that. He's juicing like Whatever McGregor. Whatever it is, it makes him the goat, bro. The goat of boxing, Jake Paul. Oh my god! Oh the my goat god. of Smoky. boxing. Smoky no, Smoky no. <laughs> That'd be like saying that fucking um, 
who is it uh CM james Punk, the ellsworth ghost UFC. that, that james <laughs> yeah <ghost> ufc <laughs> I was gonna say James like Ellsworth. Umex is the new XXX Tentashi on like nah, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, dude, he is. He is without a doubt. <laughs> Pastor. Pastor Arthur Montgomery for the team, <laughs> sending prayers. Puff. Yeah. Yeah, Puff's I think fuck. everyone is, man. Puff's Puff out here. Fuck. They're trying. They're trying to get by. The Cobra may be the one thing that st- that stops it right in their path. Oh, without a doubt, Cobra's not giving that thing up till it's dead. It's going to be a slow, arduous deterioration. It's a sad thing. Doom, you want to get this one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it because you don't want to say the name? No, it's Barbara's Bar Bussy. Come on. Barbara's Bar Bussy for <laughs> five. <laughs> Vests are the new hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're right. They're right. The vest, you got to get yeah. back in here the and vests represent. are the greatest thing to ever happen. Like, like it's it just makes everything better when there's a vest on, you know. Uh, it makes the gameplay more fun. It gives us more luck in tonight's Street Fighter Six fights. Um, yeah, it's just uh, and also it's just uh, it's something silly and fun we do if we hit the tip. Guys. <laughs> so like you know, <laughs> come on. I mean, how could you not? How could yeah, you not just improve that? the content. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's such. He's the worst, bro. Like, you know, he did like a drinking stream the one time, Kiwi. Did you know how much he was doing shots for uh, how much money for? 15. 15? Yeah, right. $100 a shot. No way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a bitch. It's because he has an alcohol problem. Remember when you talk about he like used to have an alcohol problem? That makes me have respect for Blade. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, Blade, at least, you're, at least you're doling out reasonable prices, you know? Yeah, and twenty one dollars for a triple shot. Like I don't agree anyone should buy it, but if the, I had to put a price tag on that, it'd probably be around that range. Oh, I, 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 what the, I just spoke with the DSPA cadence of white thousand. The worst prices I've ever seen. There's that <laughs> like Garo Shadow Scale dude. It's like for like two hundred fifty or like four hundred dollars. It's like get a virtual hug on VR chat. <laughs> miss me with that. It's fucking bullshit. Dude, you don't want your virtual hug, bro? Like, you don't want your virtual hug from generic green dragon design? <laughs> I bet you I bet you if White Bowser be listening to this, he's like, oh my god, I got an email club doom. I can hopefully I, I can get, get that, that hug. I want that. I want that. Like <laughs> I need human interaction. <laughs> I'm too I've I've been soul bonding with my mother and it's not doing it anymore. Oh, don't do it for me no more. <laughs> Ice. Icy 420 for the 10. That ninja, bro, is coming in hot. Yeah, dude, I love uh I, I love them because they're like mysterious. Something about hey, mystery. Hey, That's why I'll never show people my ugly face, because like I want you guys <laughs> to imagine some handsome squidward behind the camera here, you know. Some uh, squidward out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, I got a question for Doom. It just hit me. Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> um, you were saying you're um, you're uh, what's it called? Up the uh, up up northern. Yeah, yeah, up north. Is it is it fucking is it like is it cold there? Nah. No. Okay, I don't know why I'm wondering. At night, like, it's a little colder, but no. Nah, I've never cool. been up to like. I've never been like that far up north, and I wonder even if this town time of the year if it was like still cold. I know I know that sounds absolutely regarded of me, but I'm really stoned right now, and I was just thinking like, damn, like it's hot where I'm at, and I would love to be like somewhere where it's snowing right now. Yeah, fuck Quebec. Yeah, fuck Quebec. <laughs> them fucking uh, I don't know what they oh. got there, but fuck them, bastards. They got them and their poutine on fire apparently. And their... <laughs> We got we got sin for the five. Y'all make oh, I didn't eight. I didn't mean it like that, but uh <laughs> <laughs> sin for the five. Y'all make my eight hour night shifts a lot more bearable. Love you guys. Man, Sin, we love you too. And I hope that mm-hmm. eight hour shift, hopefully it's coming to an end here. We've been live for a pretty good bit of time. So, you know, I just hope you know the more time we go, hopefully the more time till you're out of work, my friend. Stare into the gaping maw of Club Doom, and all will be right with the universe. <laughs> I love this fucking profile. I love it too. It's never change it. Never. <laughs> it's too good. Such sir Axatoli. 
Studios. That's an Italian last name. Uh, huh. Good good to catch the special episode of the High Boys. Y'all helping with the pain of the satellite man gives me <laughs> by, by the government raise on my teeth. He's a motherfucker for that, bro. He really is. Like, doesn't he know that my family and your family have big teeth? They have naturally big teeth. And you can look through our, you can look through yours, such, such sir, Axitol Studios, and, and my dental records. We never had bad teeth, man. We never had bad teeth. But now the government, man, ever since those satellite rays been hitting our teeth, different story. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is. The, the, uh, the war against people's teeth that the satellite man is waging is fucked up and needs to be known. Yeah, because the fucking, the dentistry business is dying because, you know, all these fancy new toothbrushes, so they have to keep them afloat somehow, so they hired the satellite man to fuck up people's teeth so that they keep having to come into the thing. That's what It's all a dentistry racket, you're right. Yeah. Can uh, can uh, I be Kiwi's uh, Bill Alfonso? Who's Bill Alfonso? Ab- absolutely. It's uh, the Taz's old manager, Sabu's old manager with the whistle. The oh, thing. Yeah. You ain't you can... gonna be Sabu. You ain't gonna be Taz. I can't do a good Bill Alfonso, but yeah, yeah, as a manager and lookout wrestling, absolutely zip. You can be the Jesus Paul. Get on that. You can be the Paul Heyman to my. Um... We, we already got Paul Heyman. We already. Got oh Paul yeah, Heyman. no, you're right. I can't. I can't. He's respected. You can. And then there's another. Hey, smokes. Can I be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can. Yes. Yes. Zip. Like I said I'll have to get. Uh, I'll have to get. What's his name? Uh, Jesus to to um to make it. Now that I'm going to be more of a jobber, I need a manager to well, hype no, me you, up. Uh, who'd you beat the other night? You beat um, you beat someone. I don't know, but you're in the... There's like a, a low-cal elimination chamber for the title right now. A battle. Like, um, next time I go live, Cobra oh. qualified, you qualified, Tito qualified. I don't even remember who the champion... Oh, Chris Chan's the champion right now. Um, huh. Chris Chan and Barber and that son of a bitch. And then there will be like one other person, and that person faces wings at low-cal mania. It's got to be Chris and Barb for the title. It was a whole cow thing. Chris and Barb fought the other month, and then Chris, Barb, and Tito fought the other night. And Chris won both matches because he's just he, he just rides like that, apparently. He's in a blood feud with Barb. Always has been. Ed Boy with the three. Any of you guys seen Empire of Dirt Doc on Co? I have not seen it yet. I have not. Uh, I've seen a little bit of it. Uh, people, the the reception from the public seems to not be good. I never trust it. I never trust it until I watch it myself. Yeah, I would that's... say always watch it and make your own mm-hmm. make your own presumptions. That's true. <laughs> it seems like Cobes is a little salty about the situation. So, uh, Ice Baby sal- with the five. He okay. seems salty about everything though. Yeah, no, for real. This is for you, Smokey. Oh, uh, what's up, Smokey? You go- oh, hold on. What's up, Smoke? You gonna be one of those people making low riders in Zelda? Nah, I don't. I'm not very good at the building in the new game, but I haven't actually played it in a few weeks. I just I fell off from it. Like I got to the final boss, and I never I didn't want it to stop, so I just kept playing and doing different things. I found like every single shrine and shit, well, almost, and I just stopped playing. I got to go back and beat the final boss. I might even just say fuck it and start it over again. I have a tendency to do that sometimes, but I can't make anything other than the flying bike, which is just putting down two wheels and putting a control thing above them and bang, flying bike. And that's what I'm That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Thank you for the five ice, baby. Wolf Castle with the 10. Take this for the DSP bit. That crack ball. Here you are. <laughs> yeah. Here you are, Wolf I Castle. Thank, I want to thank you so much for donating $10 right there. Um, you know, you re- that that really is, is, is generous because I can use that next week on my day off, maybe. You WWE know, maybe. champions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I might need to go out and buy groceries for maybe my 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 phone bill because you know uh, you know we all gotta pay somehow you know so yeah if we could all get that in because you know YouTube pays out every month and you know we could really get that money there guys so we could really get the support up on the stream that'd be great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ten. I love you. Are just a master of these impressions, Smokey. They're too good. The fucking uh, Tony Black Dragon one still kills me. Oh, Tony. man. <laughs> yeah. Styrax. Sty- <laughs> Chance Wilkins. You're the pedophile, Chance. I'm not a pedophile. I'm... 
God forgave me for what I did, Chance <laughs> Wilkins. Chance Wilkins, your life is as valuable as a summer ant. <laughs> Your White Bowser, is... White Bowser, you're the pedophile. What, what you did was way worse than what I did, Earl. Earl, you're a pedophile, Earl. Well, then why don't you just leave, Earl? Okay, okay, I will. I you will guys leave. Still fucking hate I will leave. Because that was the night he went. Oh, shit, Kiwi died. I'm, there, fu I'm fucking around. It's part but, of um, it. But, uh,. That night was Bowser's biggest freak out, and had Tony not fucked that up, he probably would have kept screaming and shit. <laughs> so, you know, that could have been a moment moment in time all fucked up by the uh, the former Black Dragon, you know? Former yeah. Black Dragon. <laughs> Hillbilly was with the Ted. I can assure the car seat and drug use are so intertwined they're inseparable. Source me. What's... <laughs> That was in reference to you saying, why are all people always saying that meth users are always working on their cars? And oh, stuff? yeah. So Hillbilly Wizard's saying it like it is, you know? You know, all the fucking meth heads working on their cars all night. You know, I've seen it. I've seen it. I know what he's talking about. You know, I don't know much about cars, but I definitely know that meth heads like to work on them at 4 a.m. Smokey's yeah. like, I don't know much about cars, but I do know meth heads. <laughs> yes, and yes. These meth are some meth heads. <laughs> yeah. Morning from their, uh, you know, unregistered car shop <laughs> yeah yeah no doubt thank you for the 10 hillbilly and thank you for everything tonight bro facts thank you for brother the three earlier uh i gotta give a big shout out to the gifters real quick and tropic star kid gifted 20 fucking memberships holy shit and yeah thank you my friend that's another one of those unsung black dragons i can't believe oh, that's still going too but people like entropic and them they're fucking like no i got it mixed up yeah, I got black mixed up. Oh. Well, still, we, got, we, still got, we still got many of Black Dragons yeah. down there. Black Dragons never die, except mm -hmm. for Tony. <laughs> and Tropic Star Kid is, uh, yeah, fuck, dude. I don't even know what I was talking. We know you and Tropic. Thank you so much for the 20, dude. You made 23 people's fucking nights. Everybody's going to get to see videos early, get the little emojis. And uh, we all hell appreciate you, bro. Fact, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thus spoke with the five memberships. Thank you to Thus Spoke. Thank you. I'm gonna spam these little emojis that you get here in chat because that's what's up. Oh you yeah. Can get those Show access. Those yeah. Those yeah. Those I'll flash nice. my emojis. Uh, and then J Rock gifted one membership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So a big shout out to J Rock and Tropic and Thus Spoke. Thank you guys. Uh, just wanted to get those so we didn't miss them. Max Axe for the five. I think a worse fate for Chance is for the Electroshock fixed him and he can see everything he's done with a normal mind. That's deep. Could you oh. imagine if he just if he like overnight became normal and just woke up and was like, "What the fuck have I like? What like this is the." You know, some people are born into poverty. Some people are born into, you know, a really bad, like, wasn't Bane born in prison? Like, like you know. He's like, born sorry. in the darkness. Yeah, it was like, sorry, like, your dad did some fuck shit. Like, no, I'd like, play. Doom's got it. Doom's got a good Bane impression, I can tell. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> There's Chris Chan on Venom right there. <laughs> I was born in Martha Jefferson Hospital. The real pain was who lives in 14 Branch Lane. I like dykes. Dykes. China. I'll break your back, Batman, just like I broke Barbara's. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> we fixed him, Max. Joker and Two Face are blaming me. They're mad at me. I admit it. It's my fault. <laughs> the internet now. <laughs> you're like you're basically giving ideas to the new Harley Quinn show, Club Doom. That is not Cat. That is not Catwoman in that photo. That is Poison Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> My poison ivy. <laughs> oh shit! I'm such a fucking nerd. Ass eater sixty nine. Nine for the five. 
you folks laugh, but Cyrax is the closest thing Akron can get to having Batman. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. It's like he's calling the cops and shit, expecting them to have like a Cyrax signal. Like they call him up and be like, Chance, Two Face was seen down, causing havoc down at Little Mike's. Get down there quick, you know? Uh, he's I'm not the hero they bad. need, but the hero they deserve. Chance, he's Mr. Freeze has frozen over Summit Lake. Get down there, <laughs> 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 Sally and Ed have to drive him. Sally and Ed got shot. Sally and Ed are <laughs> fucking dead. Dude, he's just waiting for uh, Mr. Freeze's Mr. Freeze to die so he can go get his wife, Australia style. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate F the Ed Black Ed. Dragon with the two. Hook him up to a lie detector, Steve Urkel. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought I thought you were about to say Steve Irwin. I was like, you want to hook him up to a stingray? But like now, Steve Urkel, I can see now. <laughs> Oh man, that's so, dude. Crocodile Hunter was my childhood. Yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 like I said. I would never want to say it, but I've always heard that there's footage out there mm. of like that he wanted them to keep recording when like the Stingray yeah. got him. But like, I, I heard the family deleted that footage, and it's for like, oh. what? What was the point? Like, what? Because you know, it's kind of like the Owen Hart death. You know, people just yeah. want to see it to see someone like check, and it's like, oh, I don't know. I know a guy who saw it, man, and he was like, "You what? heard it." the Th owen hart fall oh god and, yeah uh, I, at, at, I think it was kemper arena yeah um, yeah yeah but i what i was gonna say was like the piece of lost media i'd want to listen to you get you know that bear man who got eaten by oh, bears god, dude, yeah, it's another one. he was That's recording the whole time when he and his fucking girlfriend got eaten alive dude and they they had a guy listen to it and he's like don't play this he, for yes, anybody yeah yeah, yeah, he listened to it and was like, yeah, do not release this. Like, uh, fuck. Yeah. Like, my, oh, my bears personal... don't care. They'll just start eating oh, you alive. Man. My Shit. personal ones, it's not as serious. I mean, it kind of is because the dude ended up being like a pedophile. But uh, I, br I keep bringing it up. is Don Vito, the Don Vito cut yeah. of Jackass 2 uh, before he got like charged. Like, th There was a scene in that where he got his, he was the one who got his teeth ripped out by the fucking Lamborghini. And they had to cut that shit like a month before the movie came out because he got in trouble for being a fucking pedo. So there's even scenes in the movie, bro, like early stage of people like wiping people straight up out of movies. You see all the jackass guys standing there. There's like a big ass gap in between one of them. <laughs> and that's where Don Vito was standing. It's just like, wow, like, they really just erased him from this shit completely. Like, And then Bam went all Tony Chase and he's like, fuck the American government for even yeah. letting this happen. I'm going to smoke crack with the fucking bums in the boardwalk unless I get to see my son. Like, Are you holding the cigarette in your mouth while you're saying that? <laughs> no, but I won't oh. now you brought it up. You, that's how he fucking, he always talks like he has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Fucking bam. Joe, Joe Knotts 51 with the two. What if Cyrax even had a little political power? <laughs> oh, God. Oh like, my god. He's Billy Kincaid from Spawn. His dad is a fucking senator. And uh he can just get away with all his horrible shit. That would be scary. That'd be a scary reality. Or like the guy from Sin City, the yellow guy. He's got a dad that's a senator, you know, he can get away with all his fucked up shit. Uh if Rax was in that kind of situation, then It'd be scary and we live in a world where that kind of shit happens keep that in mind folks so be careful fluffy with the blicky with the dude <laughs> playing drifting when i'm spinning on the ops man <laughs> that's actually that's actually pretty lit this is the hardest dono of the night like yeah, I, shit this, fluffy with the blicky has shot a man to the sounds of club doom <laughs> you know, fuck with the oh, blicky's yeah, been out here getting mafia. Pasta yeah. mafia, what's up? Fuck what you heard. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. East side. Catman. You should give Bowser one fourth of the profits of this stream, but only in counterfeit cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it to him in Bowser bucks. I, look, I've I've said this before as a joke, and it's still you know for legal reasons technically a joke, but um. Uh, I saw Wolf Marty did a horse race with White Bowser. Now, I've said before, like, I think the funniest thing would have been to get Bowser into gambling. <laughs> Just oh, to see man. him doing streams every night going, 
guys, I've been pay- playing blackjack all day, and this <laughs> dealer has been kicking my ass. Like, I've lost my last three months in Kroger's payments to, to fucking Javier on, on the blackjack table. <laughs> Just get Bowser a kick and get him into like. <laughs> yeah, dude, Bowser can do yeah. gambling streams. The gambling streams. That'd be amazing. Or like CSGO Lotto. Can you imagine him? He's playing like Drake. He's like, all right, guys, we're betting, we're betting $215 on 13. If we get this, we get all the Genshin Impact skins. It hits, <laughs> he's, it hits, he's jumping up and down. 13! 13! <laughs> guys, <laughs> I can buy more Mommy Waden now. Yeah, gambling Bowser would have been the best. Would have been the best outcome of this whole situation, just oh. to see him, just to see everything burn down. Grizzly Slug agrees with the five. Showed my friend Smokey's Earl videos. He almost puked. What I miss? Oh man, it was probably a little while ago, but you didn't miss too much. We were talking about old Earl, so hopefully, if your friend's watching, you don't need to puke again. And uh, but yeah, we've been we've been chilling tonight, Grizzly. I hope you've been enjoying it, man. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. I always love seeing the Pepe. Um, Mighty, Mighty with the two. You guys are doing a good job as always. Thank you. It means a lot. It always does when you guys are saying that you're enjoying the content. And uh, having someone on here like Club Doom definitely uh, yeah, he gives us more to play off of. You've been excellent here tonight, Doom. It's been fun. Hey, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, you know, I'm just thankful you guys invited me and shit. This is great. We, hey man, we we do we absolutely appreciate you being here. I always got to say I apologize. I know Kiwi does the show sometimes ends up going a little long, a little mm-hmm. long. But like I said, we'll uh we just we appreciate you being here, man. And it's uh, it's always a good one. It's always a good one. We're not Hell scammers. Yeah. yeah, we're not scammers. We got you. Wow, Smokey, I had no idea you were such a Pokusy fan. Real oh. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Bradley. Apparently, apparently, AI me has a real thing for friggin' uh, Vaporeon. Now, personally, yeah. personally, I I never liked any of the evolutions. You know, personally, they weren't they weren't my real thing. Life, he's more of a Cinderus guy. I was gonna say, I was gonna say Ar- Aerodactyl <laughs> looks pretty cute though. You know? Oh <laughs> my god! Riding on Aerodactyl's <laughs> massive head. You know, I just I'm already hearing it. You know. <laughs> There's going to be just sequel inbound. RPG, guys, just have him sing just an RPG. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I um, know you both have somewhat covered Sonichu, but have you covered his cousin Tails gets trolled? I have not. No. Oh, Tails I've... gets trolled is amazing. Well, that would be a good one to have you back on here someday, Doom. We just do like a Chris Chan dive because you're very well versed in Chris Chan. Uh, yeah, we, we did the whole Sonichu review. That was fun. Mm. And I'm then, wanting uh, to do a video where I cover individual Sonic shoes. Like they're so interesting, each character. I'm well, starting yeah, to think we should do a, we should do yeah. an overall like a a project, like a, a bunch of different content creators to do read Sonic shoe or something. Yeah, everybody does a voice. Yeah, yeah or, or, like or, a, a, or a fucking comic. That'd entire be good. One. That'd be good. That could be. Yeah. Spread it amongst channels and shit. I, I would. I, I don't know. We have to figure that out. You heard it, Herp Gang. Spread it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Max Axe Bowser, the type of dude thinks getting a girl's face to go red is a sign she's into him. Yeah, it could just be that she's like That's really very embarrassed. true, Max Axe. He, yeah, he probably he'd make her feel awkward and think she likes me. She like he he's one of the ones who believes like oh if a girl is mad at you or treats you like shit it's because she actually likes you. To Bowser, yeah. you know, they, they throw she's a drink, they throw the a drink face. in she's, his face, yeah. And that's she's playing line. hard to get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on the you same page. Like <laughs> yeah, I think it's, he's got a very skewed sense of flirting. Aster off the Grim, have you guys ever heard of Bathtub Ross? Ooh, yeah. I did a video on him, but right, Bowser reminds me of him. So, Aster off the Grim, I'll tell you what, bro, I've seen so many parallels between Bowser and Ross. I did a documentary on Ross uh, 
early on on my channel. It was my first Meet the Locals video. He's one of the locals that got me into this whole shit. He's mm. he's one of the fucking worst, but his videos of him like spurting out and freaking out and raging will stand the test of time because it's some of the most incredible raging you'll ever hear. But oh, he's, it's yeah, violent. He's worst. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a... It's a pr- like, Cyrax's shit is crazy. This motherfucker shit is primal. Like, he is like... he. He screams like a fucking animal, and it's weird. Like, but he primal. Just, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Astaroth. Season five will be the cupcake saga. True that. <laughs> go, 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 True that. Just trying to get a motherfucking cupcake. She get some fries down at McDonald's and shit. Know what I mean? <laughs> motherfucker, actually live a good life. Know what Earl, I mean? Earl, why are you here in this Krispy Kreme today? I, I, I just I just came down here because I wanted a donut. They said it was free donut day. Today's not free donut day, Earl. Oh well, I'm, I must have got the days wrong then. Are you sure you're not down here to meet this girl, Earl? But 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 she's she's just a cartoon. She's just. A I cartoon. was not here to meet Grace Van der Wall. I was not. <laughs> oh man, Mech Warrior, y'all. Hey guys, y'all cool. Damn, thanks. Thanks. I'm we blushing are- right now. We that doesn't married. mean I'm into you, though. I'm not into you, just because I'm blushing, Mech Warrior. Don't get it. Don't Bowser it. My my face is red, but that's just because the shit's kicking in. It's because they murdered <laughs> his pet bunny. Just joined what I missed, Max Dagger. Max Dagger, bro. Um, I'm not sure when you joined, but we had a good show tonight. We covered Cyrax, White Bowser, a little bit of Tony Chase, man. It was definitely a good one. I hope you go back and watch it, though, brother. Yep, it was a good show. We had a good time. Max Dagger again. No big dodos this week, unfortunately, but I got next week Wednesday do do. Oh, that's yeah. something. Never feel um, obliged. We, never feel obliged. Yeah, never feel obliged, guys. Like we never, we never ask. Uh, it's just something that's there. We'll read your chat yeah. out. We always hella appreciate it. Don't think we don't hella appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We mm-hmm. never want you to feel like you're fucking obliged. Yeah, ne- never feel obligated to do it. If yeah, it's, it's up to you. Yeah. Just showing up and watching is, like, already doing a lot, like, more than enough for us. Yeah, so. I do the DSP thing just to go at people like that. Because I hate when it's like, don't yeah. don't try to shame people or, like, put, like, little little hints out there that, oh, please give me. Like, no, no, if you guys want to do it out of the generousness of your own heart, you go ahead and do it. But if, especially if you don't got money, if you don't got, if you don't want to, it doesn't matter. You never feel blessed. You guys are always yeah. welcome here no matter what, man. It's always great to see all y'all in chat. Yes, always much love. Always always look forward to Wednesdays. Thus spoke, welcome back, you filthy, dirty tapist. I hate that people, they, they, they fucking pay for these memberships and then I'm like, you're a fucking tapist. You're a dirty tapist, you know? But they are. <laughs> they're on the registry. And they're gonna get to see my videos a couple days early. Get the emojis. You know Thus spoke. You've been there, brother. Nothing like doing some artwork while listening to two Blitz guys and an artist talking about nonsense. Keep it up, boys. Uh, Schizenberger, man. Thank you for the five. Club, yeah, yeah. Having Club Doom on today as like an actual, like, like me and Kiwi just talk about the locales. We get high here. Club Doom, Club Doom got the talent. When it comes to exactly. talent in the local community, you, you got, there's no better man to point to than Doom. At least audio wise, I can't draw for shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't I draw to, either. I'm if terrible. I tried to draw shit. someone at you, it would be indistinguishable from Chris's style. <laughs> oh, dude, you are you are uh, one of our favorites, man. We love having you on the show, Mero. It's always a pleasure. You're so you're very good. talented too. I know people tell you that a lot, but um, you <laughs> you are We've talented. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Wait, thank he you for died. coming on. He was right. That what I don't know earlier from friggin', from friggin Gremlin oh. said that oh we're gonna kill Kiwi tonight. That one got close. Yeah. First, first night, I said I don't know a bit ago. Wasn't sure if it got red because I had to go eat Club Doom. Do you have any interest in remixing Errol's songs? Yeah, I believe Doom already answered that. And uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I could ever do Savage like Bowser because that's like the perfect song. I don't think there's anything I. Could yeah, there's do no do. making that better. Like, yeah. Maroon, Maroon 5 heard that, and they were like, fuck. Like, he just did what, what Johnny Cash did to Nine Inch Nails. Like, you know, he, he took our song and he perfected it. Like, shit. 
Savage like Bowser. <laughs> what was it that? What is the key? If you believe. I remember, I, I remember it was some long winded, like he had to squeeze a whole bunch of extra syllables into the <laughs> chorus. Cause like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he about something stuff. in the brony community that happened and why he's got beef with all these people and shit. Like he's not, he's not even singing. He's just saying statements like just over and over. I, I love how he frames himself as this villain of the brony community. This yes. like s syndrome. Of the brony community. <laughs> oh, man. Scheisenberger, welcome. You're a tapist as well, dude. I hope that you're enjoying this. Every We do this every 6.30 Eastern Time, uh, Wednesdays. It's always a blast. I always have fun doing it, and uh, I hope you enjoy it, bro. Facts, right? I knocked a can over. Um, Neck warrior for the two. I have too many EVs. Please help. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so I did not, I did not sire those EVs. They are not mine. That bitch, that Vapoyon wants yeah. support. <laughs> See, I'm not paying for daycare. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, it's it's divorced dad Earl again. That Vapoyon and me. I was only with her once. I was only with her once. There's no way that four EVs. I did not see four <laughs> EVs. Still a bunch of, so like they can't be mine. One of them, one of them evolved into a fucking Umbuyan. How? <laughs> How? They're all, they're all Umbuyans. They're all Umbuyans. <laughs> She's obviously been cheating on me. You're a cheating whore, they poor young. <laughs> <laughs> you were sleeping with that hound hour. I know it. <laughs> Is it bad that I imagine Bowser's legitimate pokey children just being those garbage ones? You know, just, just the trash the, sacks. The bug Pokemon with big heads. <laughs> like those <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, the the fucking, ones you never remember the name the of because they're just... I remember it's like a big garbage bag. Bowser's yeah. Bow it would probably be Trubbish. Like, yeah, I was gonna say it's like a jump fluff or something like that. Like it's one of that. Trubbish and Garbador by the Digimon that eats shit. <laughs> oh man oh uh, man I'm, okay. I don't know how familiar y'all be with fucking Digimon but yeah they got one that eats shit it, that's like, amazing uh, that's that's what you call uh, the circle of life yeah like in the old Digimon world games if you if you let your Digimon shit on the ground too much it would turn into one of those and then you could like have it eat all the shit <laughs> what? oh my god I never played the Digimon games yeah they're weird I got I got way too back into Pokemon cards. I have like this tin in front of me now from like back in the day that like I probably shouldn't have bought, but I can't wait to open this later. I don't know why, but uh, I've been getting heavy into magic. Really? Mm -hmm. A lot yeah. of people telling me to start collecting that too. Yeah, ma magic's a good. Magic's a great game. It's it's not as simple as Pokemon, and it doesn't have the notorious power creep of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like right in the middle. It's nice. good, man. You just I feel like you figure out how to build a good deck and you finally know and then you start having fun with magic. Yeah, and, and then there's like there's decks that like fit different play styles. Like I'm very much yeah. a like 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 Artaka would be my go to uh, starter deck. Like Onga Bunga, make big dragons and mm. wreck shit. Like that's I use vehicles, bro. I, I use I crew vehicles with like tiny little creatures. That that was my <laughs> strat. Cheddar, Cheddar Cheese does that a lot. My boy Cheddar. That's like his play style. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's It really is a fun fucking game. I, I never played Pokemon when I got older, but I played Magic when I got older. So, I don't know. 300, I 200. Well, I just uh, like how they look. Yeah. yeah. They look <laughs> the Black Dragon Baron with the 200. But I think it, yeah, it's in a different currency, so I'm not sure what that translates Garacios. to yeah uh been a while since i've done this you guys gotta talk about smash bandicoot doom's vid on him is lit big ups to you bro that's <laughs> honestly that smash bandicoot video that's really all there is at the moment on smash there's like some freakouts here and there uh for, like when he calls other people's channels but as of now smash been kind of behaving himself like mm -hmm. he uh 
he keeps going on his community post and accusing Cartoon Shi of pulling ops and like showing fake screen, like obviously faked screenshots. But everyone's just kind of shrugging him off, like, ah, oh, Smash, you big goof. <laughs> uh, the like any little cow that has freakouts and shit, like that's that's my favorite shit. Like I love I love the fucking videos of like so and so fighting with someone going back and forth freaking out. It's just that's. That's what I've always found fascinating. That's why I find Cyrax to be the most fascinating current wall cow. Just because he always is doing shit like this. And, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, that's just, I don't know. That's what, that's kind of what piqued my interest in watching the Smash shit, too. Yeah. Thank you for the 200 pesos, brother. Um, Super trailer. Thoughts? Yeah. Of that's the weird. situation with Boogie's new girlfriend. I don't know much about this. She's young. She's real young. Oh. She's like 20, by which I mean, He's like old enough to be her dad. That's just what's kind of weird to me. Yeah, no, it's definitely yeah, weird. It is. That's that's off. That feels off. Yeah, she's like a sugar baby type. I'm assuming he like pays her and. Yeah. He's weird. Boogie's weird, weird, weird fucker. Uh, there's a there's a membership one that I see in chat, and it's an interesting question. Mind if I read that real quick? Go ahead. Go on ahead. Yeah, someone asked if I've ever listened to any MF Doom. I was like, hell yeah, bro! MF Doom, a huge inspiration. He's he's the goat. Oom um, Food is one of like the best fucking rap albums of all time. That's what's nice. Up. Yeah, nice. That's what's up. MF Doom's the goat, bro. R.I.P. to the legend. To the Fat. real villain. How did he die? He had been uh, sick for a while, wasn't he? I see. He he went to a hospital in the UK because uh, like they had to do some work on him, and it was during COVID, and like they just ended up neglecting him until he choked. Jeez. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Awful. That's crazy. That's so sad. Um, yeah, that's fucking terrible. Ko- Kobakai with the five. Here's to folks keeping pressure on motherfuckers like Bowser. Yeah. Facts. Big ups to them. No problem on that, Kobakai. We got you. We got you. D- Danny's liberated Scavy, Forsaken Marksman. Smokey, I want a dramatization of Cyrax receiving a seven year jail sentence. Be- Mom! Mom, Ed, do something, please, please, Ed, Ed. Ed, 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 Ed would be like, what the fuck am I going to do, Trance? I can't do anything or they're going to arrest me too. All right, so, right. me seven years. He's going to, he he would try to like fight off and not go to the back with all the judges and shit. And like after, or with the, uh, the security guards, but they just like pick him up with like one hand because he's so small. He'd just be kicking and being like the whole time, like, like they've been doing this for seven years. Seven years, and you guys have done nothing. And as they took him to the back room, he just get progressively quieter. Like, and Marty, Marty's been fucking with me and Cyrax <laughs> Cyrax video game. And he said that would be it. And just, oh my that god, that would be the last time you heard of Cyrax, and then it'd be the jail's problem. It'd, it'd go more like the end of Boondock Saints. You ever see Boondock <laughs> Saints? Up, hold up, hold up. And then he gets out <laughs> seven years later, and he's, he gets immediately right back on. Like, All right. This is a video directed at Tony over in cell block B. So, <laughs> a couple weeks ago, you stole the last crackers that I had on my plate in the in the, uh, in the fucking cafeteria. Why, why? Why do that to me? Why don't do that to anybody else? Why? Because I'm the short guy? Do you think I'd just be walked all over? Like, And it would just be a repeating cycle, but this time talking about people he had to deal with in prison. <laughs> we can only hope that'll be yep. content yeah. I, I don't usually go back and watch my old streams because I feel like that's weird but one that I keep going back to is when we watched the fucking Cyrax arrest oh absolutely mm-hmm. perspective, yeah. and we started playing Courage the Cowardly Dog sad yeah. music <laughs> Bro, that's, that's dun, the most dun, dun, you just hear Ed help <laughs> Bro, that's the most popular fucking uh, oh no not the arrest one I was about to say the fight the fight uh, episode is still our most popular episode ever of this show. So, like, yeah. so you've, uh, like that night, man, what a... We had 1,600 <laughs> people watching us, Doom. God, yeah, that I was, didn't even know that. Yeah. That was, that was a wild night, man. Like, so having, just happening to do the show live that night when that shit was happening is still like one of the greatest coincidences ever. It was. It was. And I'm glad that you were there for it. It is one that I go back and watch, too. Yeah. Um... Never have been a black dragon, unfortunately. Yeah, see, I'm sorry. I had you mixed up, dude. I had you mixed up with uh, Enigma. 
I'm a fucking idiot. You're well if you ever uh, if you ever want to join in Tropic Star Kid, just know there's always room in the world for more black dragons. Yeah, for real. I think we might have made a couple more just talking about it tonight. Yeah. yeah. I apologize for that entropic, but thank you for everything, bro. Thank Much you, love. Entropic. Um, Noel Gar Brady with the five. Save Sally. Why did you say that name, bitch? Uh, why'd you wow. say that oh. name? Why'd you say that name? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Tony as Superman, uh the black dragon Tony. And it's Why fucking Cyrax. Why name, Chance? <laughs> Chance. Now, Tony, the only fucking superhero Tony could be is Professor Xavier. And if, he, yeah. if he fucking shaves his head. Yeah. You'd have a camera installed and everything. Fuck. Jacob is Lucas with a five. Sorry I'm late. Did we already talk about Bowser? Yes, we did. Yeah, we you did. could probably go back to the first yeah. hour of the show, Jacob, mm-hmm. and that would be the Bowser talk. And this will be up on the archive by the end of the night, guys. You can rest assured Always, on yeah. that. Yeah, I'll have to um, start promoting that more so people know where to go to watch. Oh, that's no big deal, dude. I, I always try to tell people when I see it. Um, th- a big thank you to All, R- All Right Stingy with the 10 gift membership. Stingy. Holy shit, thank you, Stingy. Yeah, dude, Stingy, we hello appreciate you. You gave like 14 Australian earlier. Um, I hope things are well in the land down under. I've always it won't wanted be if to Cyrax visit. gets there. Yeah. It won't be if Chance gets there. <laughs> he's like, problem. he's like, take all this and put it towards keeping Rax out of my nation. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll try, bro. Keep him in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Skelly Thor, thank you for the five gift as well, dude. You made eight people's nights. Uh, everybody will get to see the videos early and look at the custom little emojis. So we appreciate you. Jacob is Lucas. Did you see the signs Bowser taped to his house? Yeah. Yeah, again, Jacob. We covered that like about like maybe the the beginning of the show, bro. I said you'll love hearing about it when you go back and see. Thank you again for that five, man. Thank you for both donations. He had them shits laminated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Let me, I'll try to throw it up on screen here. Rose T. Bowser, I made her blush. Oh my god. The girl, I'm breaking out in hives because of your stench. Today. <laughs> That's probably what was happening. That was probably totally because Bowser's another locale. You know, you look at you look at the peak of, you know, the peak of good smells in King Cobra. And then you look down at like where Bowser is and you're like, Oh, you know that guy smells terrible. Um, he smells like the meat department, you know, that man just loves handling meat. This house has been targeted by A disabled mother to take care of. I am leaving the internet. Did he put his? I can't see because of the dono. Did he write Earl Doobie at the beginning? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know, just so you know who it is. You know, it would. How fucking funny would have been if he were to wrote the White Bowser, <laughs> like just <laughs> <laughs> the White Bowser. Yeah. A M W B. I think that's just. I think what Bowser's doing there personally. I really got to stop saying this stuff, but this will be the last. But uh, I think what he's doing is Bowser's saying, "Hey guys, I'm doing this really cool, like you know, like modern art project where I'm inviting people to put all different types of cool signs on my house." <laughs> <laughs> and these are the first ones, you know. Write whatever you're thinking and put it up there. You know, this is what I was thinking. Write your name afterwards. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. <laughs> Um, Rose T with the five Bowser. I made her blush. OMG, the girl. I'm breaking out in hives because of your stench, sir. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. I, just... I am so ugly. <laughs> Not at all, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, not. A, yeah, you're totally right. That's probably how the interaction went. Probably. Fucking just crisps up. One sec. I got to mute real quick. You're good, brother. Get out of here. Now we can talk oh. shit about him. <laughs> yeah. Lucius Grieves for the two. Take a rip for me. Recovery sucks. Love you all, uh, man. I hope but you get we'll better soon, one. brother. But we love you too, man. We'll take that rip right now. God damn it. I lost my dad, Ben. Where'd it go? That's what's up. God damn it. I lost my fucking dad, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hat. Do you will be cute? Be cute? Be fucking cute? Last week when we were doing like a Cobra impression, and I went like, "God damn it! I lost my cigarette." 
like Miss Smokey looked at me because she thought like I was being legit because sometimes I can't find my six and I'm like, yo, where the fuck did I put them? Like, and like she was like, she looked at me and she was like, are you serious? You just like acted like that on your show? And I was like, I explained to her later. I'm like, that's what some little cow does. That wasn't. And she was like, oh, okay. She's like, I thought you were like throwing a fit about losing your cigarettes on the show. And I was like, no, nah, no. <laughs> it's all about the brand, baby. I'm, I'm <laughs> You know, it's all about the brand. <laughs> it's all about the brand. <laughs> Kaylee schisms. I'm drawing on Earl Pokemon now. Oh my god, yeah. Like, Was it you know. who made the Earl as like a tiny little Pokemon? Yeah, well, I would say Earl this. TV, that was scaly schism. I would say this. I, I don't. I don't want to have to. You know, scaly, you draw whatever you want to draw. But if you guys, I, I I've learned from watching the Geno Doc. Uh, what Chris Chan would do with his uh, Twilight Sparkle secret ship thick cards mm-hmm. and shit like that. So, you know, who would be Earl's shipped Pokemon? Like, who would Earl, like, would he be with, like, a Charizard? You know, would he be with, like, a Snorlax? Like, oh. Well, it wouldn't be a Jinx, just based off of what he said to Ricky. <laughs> um, huh. Um, I say Aerodactyl because everybody in chat was telling me that every iteration of the Pokedex mentioned its uh, razor serrated teeth. Hmm, that's good. Uh, I don't know. Chica Wee Puff because she's seems tiny. seems like someone who could, like, who, I could see Earl with Golem. <laughs> like, I could see Earl and Golem walking down the street. Um, God, like, who else? Uh, I can see what? the fucking Polygon thing. Just nah. for, for, for God, for God and Earl. Uh, sure, she gives some people epilepsies, but I love her. <laughs> sure, she gave over 4,000 Japanese children <laughs> seizures, but she's my Porygon. <laughs> oh, uh, my yeah. God. Yeah, there's uh, give, me, out there. give me one minute. I'm getting a phone call, boys. You're all good. You're all good. Yeah, we can, we can handle some of these. Let's see. We got Gespo with the two. Sweet maple cornbread ice cream is lit. Yo, I need that to sounds that. good. That sounds pretty goddamn good. Sweet maple cornbread in general, but then you add ice cream onto that, that should probably be lit. Thank you, Gespo. Thank you for even bringing that up. I'm going to have to look for that now. All right, well, since Kiwi's gone, I guess we're going to have to decide more Pokemon that Earl should be with. <laughs> mm. uh, Let's see here. You oh. know... He likes the um he likes big boobs, big boobs, big boobs. Like what what is there any Pokemon with big boobs? I know Foongus. Foongus the Pokemon looks like a Pokeball, like a fungus, but it looks like one. Why are we still talking about Pokemon? Well, because you're going and you're not switching to the next dono, but Foongus kind of looks like one singular boob growing out of the ground. I think Earl would like that. I don't know. Dude, that, I literally that phone call was just my little brother calling me and being like, "You're a son of a bitch," and hanging up. Like, What'd what a do? wonderful family I have. What do you do? What'd I don't you... know. I, I have to get to the bottom of it. Uh, <laughs> <You're good. laughs> Maple. That actually sounds. We already good. read it. We already read it. Like, yeah, it was I good. like cornbread. Tilton J. Cyrus is going to come out a Harding criminal. He already tried to act like that when he spent like a night in there a few weeks ago. He's if he does go to jail, you bet your ass when he gets out, he's going to act like the, he like went through some shit. <laughs> he's like, yeah, it comes out with dreads. All that's dreaded you know, out the back. And Marty, he he's like my crackers <laughs> at the cafeteria. Oh my god, he comes out and he's even talking gangster. Like Jamaican gangster. <laughs> Sally took me boomba clot. <laughs> Pascal's a rager with the five pounds. I still can't stop laughing at the Joker and and Two Face are mad at me. Yeah. Yeah. Also the Digimon games are great. Ever play Rumble Arena? I have not actually. I need to hit that up. Yeah, that's cool. We'll have to check that out. Uh, thank you, Pascal's Rager. That was a Icy. funny one. Icy always Ooh. got the ninja donos. Icy, mm-hmm. thank you for the five, brother. Always appreciated. Yeah, thank you, Icy. And, uh, I hope you're having a great night, bro. Big, Big red. red. So sorry I'm late. Love you both, Kiwi Tapes and Smokey MC. Cheers from New, New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. That's dope, my friend. 
That's dope. I'm glad to see you here tonight, my mm-hmm. friend. Don't matter if you're late. All that matters is that you're here. And uh, yeah, friend, we love you too. Thank you. I saw that you donated again a little while ago saying that you we may have missed your dono. Don't worry. Mm. We're just getting up to it and we'll catch your other one too. Via Bong's vet. Damn, y'all are still going. I just watched an entire episode of Dynamite. I, f- I always forget AEW's on when we do the show because we used to do it on Saturdays. But yeah, it was a long one tonight. I'm surprised it's this long. We're about to hit four hours. Dear God. AEW <laughs> stealing all of our viewership. Black Dynamite. I loved Black Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Kiwi, yeah. Kiwi, it's crazy to think. It's crazy to think that you want to know something absolutely like absurd. Like, look, what? we put on this show here, right? And I know there's still a giant gap here. Right? Earlier tonight, we had like a thousand people in chat. Some mm-hmm. nights, some nights, Rampage does 300,000 viewers. Oh my God. AEW is only drawing 300 times what we what we make on this show. And they got <laughs> advertising and yeah. shit. AEW wow. is, you know, like, like AEW is barely out. Like, well, they're, they're highly out drawing us, but still, the fact that. Like three hundred thousand watching your show, guys. Come on, get get to it. They what saves them is the arenas that they fill up. It seems like people will want to see them live a lot. But uh, uh, yeah, if AEW came to my town, I'd probably go. <laughs> like that's, yeah, it'd be worth yeah. it. They got good wrestling. Yeah, um, but they have the fallen big off. Red. There have. it is. Yeah, you you got both of them, Big Red. You got both of them, bro. Yeah. No. No. No worries, my friend. Second try, Dono. Enjoying love from British Columbia, Canada. We got you, my friend. Glad to see you here again. Fuck yeah. De facto. De facto. The ninja. Yeah, thank you for the five. Then they're like, you will be. You guys will be hearing from me. We scammed them. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no de facto. <laughs> we got you, brother. You'll be hearing from my fucking lawyers. <laughs> thank you for the ten, bro. Next keep quarter, Bowser keep Bowser away from, away from my Eevees. I don't trust him, bro. None of us trust him. No. Gotta keep him far away from Can the you. friggin' Eevees. No first gen Pokemon for Bowser. No. No, he can have a few seventh gens, but no no first gens. Professor Oak gives him, like, at, at the fucking place, he's giving him shit, and he's like, oh, this is Earl we're talking about. Maybe I ought to give him a Raichu instead. <laughs> he's like, a little Earl? older. We got Earl coming down? Oh, well, he's just- He's one of the slower children. Maybe we should give him this Caterpie. <laughs> give him the Caterpie and get him the fuck out of here. He smells. <laughs> get the smelling kid out of here. <laughs> I want to be a Pokemon trainer. My oh, mom. Oh, man, God. See, my mom is disabled. And I need to make the money on the on on the loads to, to get the Pokemon to pay for my mom's chicken. <laughs> Uh, that's all we have for people. Oh, man. man, it was a good night tonight, boys. Oh, yes. Long one, but it got blades back. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a good one, man. It was a good one. We'll get something to play it out here. If you guys are not subscribed, go subscribe to Club Doom. He's linked up there at the top. He's been linked oh, the yeah. whole time. Ooh, can I uh, can I make a bit of an announcement? Actually, go yeah, ahead, plug buddy. away, plug away. Uh, yeah, so. So, uh, people who've been watching my stream may have noticed that instead of my usual avatar, um, I've had our, our little, uh, Sonichu character oh, shit. during the one stream, the Evales, and, uh, the reason he's been on stream is because that's, uh, the theme of the next project. We, we got an Evales project in the works. It's, uh, it's, it's an interesting idea. We, I've always wanted to do something like, you know a story based project kind of like the wall or black parade so we we is making a uh, next project finna be evales and it gonna be like a serialized concept album so it's just gonna be like playlists on like spotify apple music and we just gonna release volumes in the matter of eps just update it regularly and that's gonna be the and it's gonna progress through the story you know as more volumes drop the story goes further along and it should be fun. Should that be sounds fun. awesome, brother. That does sound awesome. We'll be awaiting that. Do you have a time? Do you have a time when you're thinking that'll drop or be out? Um, volume one. I'm working on volume one currently. I'm okay. hoping to start getting them out by like late August, early September, because I wanna I wanna have a regular release schedule. Bet, bro. That's exciting. Yeah, That's exciting. Dude, man. We'll be awaiting it. We'll be awaiting it. Got a lot it. of exciting projects in the work, bro. You got anything else you want to shout? Um, 
just that and like i got an empress teresa like part one video in the works those are really the only two things we working on at the moment hell yeah man that'll be yeah. fun that's a crazy one i'll be excited for that <laughs> well, we want to we want to thank you brother for coming on tonight man it's always an honor to have you on bro and um and yeah we just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight yeah, yeah. thank you guys thank, thank you, you for having me this is always fun fuck yeah everybody have a great night Do this the time.